Get down there! All right, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! You'll get worse than her! Hey! Hey! Ah, come on! Ah, finally! Let's go! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Come on! In the back! Come on! Hands behind your back! Come on, Nestor! We're giving you everything you want! I don't even think about it! I'll do it! I'll do it! Okay. Get in there! Sit tight! I'll handle the plastic! Don't blow yourself up! Listen up! What's he in doing? In the back! Here? Come He's on! Kill us in here! Hurry! Leave us alone! We didn't do shit to you! All set! Phone it in! I'm calling it! <laughs> All right, we gonna do this? Huh? <laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. We gotta move! Coming out, B! Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face, I'll remember you! You forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I seen his eyes! He's crazy! No one's crazy! I think! Be cool! Well, that's right, pal! I'm fucking crazy! Oh, boy! All right, look, you wanna live? Tell me you wanna live. We'll work this out. For sure I wanna live, Ta Come to put the gun down. Ain't gonna happen, pal. Make a move. I got all day. It looks like the cavalry ain't gonna show, pal. Fuck! He didn't have to do that. Let's get going. There'll be time for grieving later. Yeah, you got that right. Move! I'm setting the charges. They're on a timer, so brace yourselves. Fantastic! Oh, fuck, you hear that? Sirens. Fuck the cops. D, hit the shutter switch. What's this? Local resistance? It ain't supposed to go down like this. It never is. Come on, go! Oh, let's move. Come on. Let's go, let's go! Get your ass in here! Jeez, what took you so long? Shut the fuck up and drive! Woo! Did you see that shit? I fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah, you're <laughs> real stout. <laughs> Chopper. No! Hey! Stick to the plan! What? <gasps> stick to the fucking plan! Come on! Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. fuck, fuck. I'm gonna check around back. <laughs> ah! Ah! The fucking fence! Someone must have fucking talked! <laughs> Alright, 
Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm hit! Oh, Jesus! Key, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna make it. I'm fucking gonna bleed out. Go! No! Motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You come near me, she's fucking dead! Stay back! Not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. Our Lord was crucified with two thieves. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin and we die in sin. And in this, Michael is like anybody else. Father. We do not know your infinite mysteries. But we know that you will show mercy to our friends. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A good kid. Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid. And I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? <laughs> I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of... Overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another Gray and Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. 
Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there with the yellow stairs. Yeah, good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn, why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple of niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in here. You bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit, come on. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. <laughs> Come to daddy. Which one you want, nigga? Like that? Bobby Big Dick on a nigga, huh? Shit, for real, homie. Damn, this motherfucker got robo roof and everything, nigga. He should have paid the Nizzo. <laughs> Man, you gotta grind to keep that shit. Now it's back on us. Hell yeah, I wanna see what it do. Hey, hit me on the speakerphone, dog. Oh, it's like that? For sure, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my peg in. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. You little dick niggas do like them little cars. Shit, I heard the talk, homie. You big everywhere except where it counts. Fool, knock it off. How about we let Tanisha decide that? She definitely ain't dumb enough to fuck with your ass. Yo, what's up? Hey, dawg, we be doing Simeon a disservice if we ain't test these rides out. He ain't even gonna know if they good if we don't push him to the brink. How <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. We buzzing the Union Depository, motherfucker. That super bank? Motherfucker, you an idiot. What you going slow the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this card. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here... He's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this one. He real to me and he gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I holler at you, homie. It's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure, okay. How about we fall through, homie? This 
chump change, how I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas Oh, Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise, with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up, can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you, I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me, cause I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you'd get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You hear? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening! Goddamn freeloader. Are you cooking for me tonight, boy? Franklin! Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dawg. I'll be around when I get a chance. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, <laughs> I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. niggas. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar? Sydney? What's up, homie? What's up, Lenovi? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us... fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. <laughs> hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made the payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, he's about a yes master ass nigga. Let's go to Vespucci. Magellan that. At least you had that old raggedy ass Harry style. I was about to have to drop your ass. Man, fuck you, nigga. I wish I hadn't a cut it. You drive it. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Fargo's dude? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. It's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G? With a 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dog. 
Man, this whole setup designed to take drug money. All right, man, look, we go in quiet. In and out, no fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shooter, motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. And you love me for it, nigga. <laughs> That's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. I'd see me a funny dude, though. It's gonna be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack him for all this shit. What the fuck you talking about? You a psychotic motherfucker. That's how shit work, ain't it? You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. You fall out, fools get capped, and then you start all over again with some other fool. Where the fuck you get that from? That ain't my life, dummy. How about the boy with the eye from around the way? Marcus or something, you were slanking for him, and then he got what was coming, right? That was different. That dude had it coming. I don't want to clap my boy and Terry in either. I like homie. It's just smacks of the inevitable. Look, dawg, this time we legit, homie. This honest work is going to end up with us coming up in the world. Oh, really? That's a nice change from fools coming up on us. That's trill, homie. You damn straight that's trill, partner. But it's a shame I don't believe it. You want to drop some notes on that shit? I give you the eyes, homie. You Apache motherfuckers love y'all best, huh? You should go work on one of them reservation casinos. Only they kick your ass off for being a fraudulent imposter, motherfucker. You and all your little racial stereotypes and shit, I find them offensive. Yeah, I'm very that? sensitive to your intolerance, my nigga. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. Watch me, fool. <laughs> I think this crazy motherfucker wants something. Hey, what's up, homie? You all right? No, wait, wait! Away from me! Run for Zappo agents! Uh, ah. yeah, you thought I was gonna hit your bitch ass, huh? Drunk ass nigga. Shit, man. Play it cool. Yeah, that's right. Keep it moving, bitch. Man, I don't like this shit one bit. Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in a past life to deserve your stupid ass? This a routine lick, dawg. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This a shady-ass alley. Shit, we in Vespucci Beach. We on the wrong side of Vespucci Beach. You should know a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. Got to be in one of these motherfuckers. Man, ain't this about a bitch. Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Oh, we saw you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Vamos! Fucker. Fucking die. Come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking gunfight. Man, stop being a pussy, nigga, and grab that heat. Get the fool. Test our luck, homie. Somebody's hit. Shit, you on your left. Oh, no. Find your bitch ass and cover. Get out here, man. Shit about to get real. Why this always happen with you, homie? Now you put you the gone and done. Follow me. Let's get through this. Nigga, you bullshit. Get that car, homie. More than me. Man, fuck this. Shoot the gas, homie. Get the floor, homie. You still breathing, homie? Yeah, barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. Man, we only came in for a bite. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here, we got your pink slip. May as well get this shit done. We really gonna repo after all this bullshit. Let's get him, homie. I want to get paid. Paid ain't worth shit when you're doing 25 with an L. We massacred those motherfuckers. Shit. No, motherfuckers getting away from us. That's because he's sitting on 140 cubic inches right there, nigga. Oh, shit, Professor. You're right. I love that. This punk get away. We going down, homie. He going to pin us for all these bodies. And whose fault is that, Mr. 80s action movie body count motherfucker? Don't play the blame game, just get on this shit. See me at the club tomorrow. Pop that fool, we need him on his ass so we can get
get what we came for. We want your bike, bitch. You gotta watch out, fool. You fucking asshole. That's the bike. We got it. Take the bike and meet me at the car wash round the way. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! Why don't you come over here and let me take care of that lonely ass? What the fuck is wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'm gonna show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. shit. This should win everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. All right, shit, where we going? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> Shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. There's JB's truck. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. Yo, we on that like ugly on your mama. That 10-9, come again? I didn't catch that. It's Tanya, fool, and my boy Franklin. We filling in for JB. Uh, copy that. Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10-7. I'm gone. A bucket. This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, yo gain, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya, what the fuck happened to you? Okay, I've seen JB do this a hundred times. Back up close, make sure the hook is down, and it should slide right in. Jesus! All right, baby, back it up nice and steady. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. So I ain't seen you around the hood much? I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dope head. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real? Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. OK, we make the drop where they got the areas marked. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. Hey, let's get up next week. Now, where is that fool? Is 
that Pete? It's Tanya. You don't want the one Tanya? Yeah, JB's girl. His sale's out of minutes, so he asked me to let you know that the job's all done. Be easy now. His allergy's been giving him hell. Nah, I'd know if he was into any of that. Cold 40 and a redwood, maybe a fat one on the weekends. That's as far as it goes. What you mean? Work ethics, that nigga's middle name. J E no, no. J W E B or whatever, you feel me? He don't have step. You seen the style I put out. I wouldn't be with no deadbeat. <laughs> I'll tell him. Don't you fret now, work will get done. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women we and are we women. are free. Free in the end of We are women. Here we are free. We are women. Here I shout. And we are women. We are women and we are Damn. Free. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to. Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got. I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Come on, homie, we ain't got all day. Let's go. For sure, but what you got up? Kidnapping, fool. That clown D. That OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more game banging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, low? And ain't nobody out here gang banging. It just look like that. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway, so she can get the fucking house. I told you to quit talking shit about your auntie, loco. That's my bitch. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. You got the wheel, homie. Get in the van, chop. Get in the van. Good dog. We going to Vinewood Boulevard. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Your annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Hey, why we doing this, dog? Man, cuz we supplementing our income. More like supplementing the drama in our lives. Is that fool Simeon looking out for us, or is he looking out for himself? Shit, himself, I guess. So how a couple of gutter-ass fools like us get ahead? By getting serious. Exactly. We two highly motivated, results-driven motherfuckers with an entrepreneurial mindset. Oh, yeah, yeah. Highly motivated self-starters, huh? In the kidnapping sector. Yeah, starting big. But it always go wrong, don't it? all your schemes for years. They don't go right, but I wouldn't say that they go wrong all the time, neither. Not as wrong as they could. I ain't dead, but I ain't rich, neither. How does 40,000 sound? Because that's what's happening right here. Man, I believe you when I'm holding. Three-way split, homie. Me, you, and Chop. Man, Chop don't get shit. Chop an intern. You hear that, Chop? Man, Frank trying to screw you. I've been told he up in the alley. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short with it? I was just saying I was trying to and holler at you. You ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why is it gotta be like that? I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs. Well shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo-boo. That's disgusting. What's happening now, D-Man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. 
I ain't sharing no ass to CGS. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mass wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit. Bitch-ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm out of here. Fuck hey, come off, on, get bitch. that, nigga. Come on, let's go. In the van, we gotta go. <laughs> He on a bike, man. We ain't gonna catch him. Oh, gangster, we got this. Hold on, Chop. You seen that bitch back there? She a don. I'm all over that. And she probably the same. Like I said, they flock. Flock your mind on this shit right here for a minute. You worse than Chop. Hey, why we choose this mark, homie? I don't know. It's an opportunity. Why not? Man, I don't know. We just chasing the bitch? I thought it might have been for a reason. 40,000, nigga, that's the reason. Give it up! Next time, we going after the motherfucker in the car, all right? All these punk-ass bikes. If we snatching this dude, we snatching his ass right. Remember the homies around the block? Man, the homies is lame. Yeah, so we not. Cops on their cell phone as soon as they made the ransom call. Triangulated the signal. Ghetto birds all over the place. Surveillance, my nigga. He cut down there. Top need a seatbelt. Oh, shit. Damn. He got fucked up. Man, take Top. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass there with your feet kicked up. Come on, Chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, Chop. Get him. There you go, Rick. Hey, how the fuck you end up with your dumb ass on it, man? And how the fuck did I? This like sprint train. <gasps> you gonna be shitting out ballers for a week when we done, and tomorrow gonna be cleaning that shit up. You got this, homie! Oh, fuck! Come on, boy. Find that fool. Sniff him out, Chop Chop. Lead me to him. Where he at, Chop? Where he at? Hey, where you going, boy? That don't look like no ballers OG to me. You better not be fucking when I get there, Chop. Shit, Chop. Man, that's a dude, dog. Your little nasty ass ain't picky, is you? This ain't time for humping, Chop. Come on, man. Come on, you horny little motherfucker. You need boot camp or some shit. Come on, man. Back to business. Get the bad guy. Come on. Smell that stinky motherfucker. You in here? You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Fuck you and your stupid dog! Don't hump him! Bite his ass, Chop! Get his ass! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, fuck you, you suck up, up, man! That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, get over here! Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CGF! Cause maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the man? Fuck the fan, punk? Shit! Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Ah, fucking idiot. Shit. I said I had no beef, man. Shut the hey, fuck up. Hey, man, what the Watch fuck? You, boy. Get this fucking dog Get away from me. me. Come on. Fuck. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Now shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet. I gotta make a call. <laughs> Got you, boy. You calling them on the cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? 
They gonna trace this shit in a sec. We want 40,000. Just pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. Watch out! Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck y'all! I'll be seeing y'all soon! The only reason you been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg? The OG's gonna hear about this! This some bullshit. Take me down the cut. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I was getting us paid. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? That was a good phone. A good phone? The cops was all over, nigga. I could have swallowed my car and tried to triangulate that. It's too late. Shit's done. At least I saved you the indignity of pulling apart your shit. Nigga, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty, old precious motherfucker. This is what I mean, homie. We need to get serious. Get paid. This shit ain't working. Oh, fuck! All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They gonna be on you now. Them cops gonna be on your ass, too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Something like that. Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? The financing, it seems like a shitty deal. Ah, because of the color of my skin, you think I am a scammer. No, no, no. Skin color's got nothing to do with it. Drop for heels. The yellow 4x4. Four four. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. Attack me? No one creeps on the J Dog, my niggas. Ooh, slaughter time! Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Mental ones? Seriously. Penises are not meant to be that small. I fucking know, right? I've seen enough of them. <laughs> it's probably because he's so fat. I still love him, though. Sort of. Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he was jerking off over pictures of my friends. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> the hot ones, Lauren and Lisa. 
No, I didn't mean it like that. You're beautiful and interesting. It's just that, you know, guys don't, they just don't get you. Hello? Hello? Fuck. Whatever. Bitch. <laughs> Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Ooh, okay, Amanda. All right, now just follow through. God, you've got great hips. You know that? Follow through. Yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> oh. Excellent, yes. Now slide your hips slow and sit into it right here. No, right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could totally get used to this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. Considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repos. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man. It's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Ram it already. Oh, shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yaterian doesn't back down from anybody. You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something, this thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Ah, uh, <laughs> he agreed to financing, I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh, that kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. 
Don't make me have to come back here. It was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repo's old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy-ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. Yo, what's up? Getaway car? I cannot believe this! I cannot! Jesus H, you're a moron! What are we gonna do? You don't have a car? I thought everyone in this city had a car. No getaway car, man! You gotta be kidding me! You didn't think how we was getting out of here? Help me! I got an excuse for being on foot. I'm from Liberty City. Is everyone in this town so dense? Of course you are. You, pal, we need your help. On your knees and stay down till we're gone. Good kid! You're good, kid! Let's lose this heat! What the hell was that? I said I had a score. I didn't say I thought of everything. Well, you could have thought of something. A car? Everyone in this shithole city's got a car! Go back to Liberty City, you Irish prick. You know where we'd be if this guy hadn't come along? We wouldn't be sharing the take is where we'd be. We'd be sharing a jail cell! You know, I ran big-time hoods in LC. We took major scores. You can't even handle a drugstore? Oh, you and your stories. Shut up about LC. Shut up about the bank job and your family and your friends. I don't care. So at least I know I ain't the least competent crook in the city. I swear, it's just this guy. Look, man, can you just lose the cops? This kid's all right. Drop us around the corner, we'll give you your cut. Hey, look, uh, I know I seem like a hothead and an idiot. I am a hothead and a bit of an idiot. But I work, okay? And I can handle myself. I ran with some big guys in LC, and the only guy I know over here is him. If you ever hear of something, a score that needs bodies, would you think of me? All right, dude. If someone were to mention something like that, I got you. There's your share, bro. Think of me. Packy McCreary of Duke's LC. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop gotta stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. 
<clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give this shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, where... shit! I'm in our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. Oh! There! There! There it is! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the quality traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way whoa, to do it. Whoa. This is the old way. I can't do this shit from here. Get me close. Hold on. I'm not up here for fun, man. Get me near the damn boat. Stick on the hood, okay? Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me closer, man. Don't slip. Oh, fuck this. Shit. Shit. Ah, shit. Fuck, kid. Ah, sh shit! Keep what the on. fuck? Hey, there ain't room up there for the both of ya! Get rid of his ass! Hey, stop throwing assholes at me! You know who you're stealing from? Get the jump on him, Frank! All right, now look for my son! Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership! Yeah? And it's a long story, bro. Jimmy! Ah! Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! 
Dad! Help! 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 Ah, this is gonna kill me! Get under him, man! Let him drop in the car! Ah. Get your hands off the boat! Dad needs his help! I'm slipping! Ah. I'm slipping! Ah. Ah. The fuck is wrong with you, kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit! You better hope she's still seaworthy! Oh, crap! Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Ah, my fucking boat! Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen. I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie, that was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking bow! No, it's not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Wow, oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough, all right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor, call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore, no, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know, let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? Yeah, it should be cool. Good. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride uh, fixed, man. They dropped the bank off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. There, that Recondition. looks better. Recondition. Sweet. Power equals pussy. Or maybe like penis, in my mom's case. All right, man, I'm taking you home. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Frank, or the credit fraud guy, the home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, 
Uh, uh, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership, then someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look. I'm sorry my dad lost you your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah. Not since the first couple. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, Magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble! Love. Yeah, yeah. Love. Love. Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga! Look who's bizarre. What's, What's up, happening with it, man? Oh, no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, they couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh. You missed me, huh? Nah, no, I ain't missed you. Your ass could have stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. 
Fuck you. Oh, I swear, man. Strizetz, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man. man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. What's part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, Bill? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Real business. Come on, girl. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit. Not me. Shit. Let's go to the gun store. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. Man, that's some fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. Pyramids is good, man. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah! You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. <clears throat> now, just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now, let's go bust on some niggas. Take us down to that one spot where the base heads be taking their cans at. You know, on Friends in La Puerta. Got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling this gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my hunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably need tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know? Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. All right, homie, we meeting in here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga. <laughs> What's what up, up fool? fool? What up, we it? got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? Everything cool? Yeah. Hold on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. Now, don't real F recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what the fuck up? this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody see, see, on us? They putting a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dawg. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's oh, some man. bullshit. Fuck you. What's up with hey, we've been set up, nigga. This shit fucked fuck up. Fuck you, nigga. You. Snake, motherfucker. Fuck shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. Come on, through here. Shit. Oh, girl, huh? Oh, 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 you yeah, that's that's a nasty ass shot. That fucking D set us up. I said lay low after you got clocked. Yeah, you lay low, motherfucker. Boy. That ain't me. I can see that. Where that last dude at? Shit. Here again? Fuck you. Now that you popped that little pump, 
We really fucked. Man, you shouldn't have put me in the room with that snitch. Cover me, homie. I'm gonna hit this. Ah! Oh, fuck you! Uh, you never oh, fucking you lie. Shit? You going first next time, no fool. Shit, nigga, then we all be dead. Not me, nigga. This shit is over, homie. Families ain't no more! Uh, man, Families, uh, man. You handled that fool. Yeah, and I'd handle him again. Many times does it take shit. Man, I don't want your clumsy ass falling down these stairs, fool. They was a safety hazard before blood got spilled all over the place. Stay there. Fuck. This is uh, fucking real. I'm fitting to show you how an OG handle his shit. That's something I don't need to see. The roll is here. I ain't doing another bid, homies. They got my number, man. Go ahead. Hey, here's the exit. To the fire exit. Come on. These motherfuckers on the sky, dog. We ain't going nowhere with that chopper on us. Take it out. Chop, chop. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hurry up! We got to go! If we gotta leave them, we leave them! Get us out of here, you dumb mark! Holy shit! That ain't hood! <laughs> Man, leave us be, motherfucker! Man, you got beat with an other stick! I wish I was in jail, not running with you fools. We are airborne and in route. What the cops care about us getting away? <laughs> That's it. That's it. We lost them. Now take us somewhere where we can get it in, homie. Oh, man, we going back to my crib, man, and you can walk from there. Hey, what the hell you walked me into back there? Shit, man, you the one popped his ass. I did the necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dawg. This all on you, LD, lanky yeah. dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually, we ain't CGL for life, because all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie, foreign gangsters. Oh, no, nah, no, nah. he don't mean that, low. F just talking out the side of his neck. I'm gonna reach cross lines, all right? Conversate with the purple homies. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Smart shit. But if I gotta hang you assholes out for this, the gang comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic and shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace-talking motherfucker we should've sent to the Middle East. Fuck. No wonder I wanna get out of here. No one's stopping you, little homie. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. Hell no. Nah, yeah. nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook ass nigga, I told nigga, you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark ass bitch. Fucking buster. Give me that motherfucker. Hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, hey, look, I saw a quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? A black man walking in vine wood? You think he Clay PG sellout? You bitch-ass punk oh. motherfucker. Oh, shit, man. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, didn't have my, my contacts in, you know? I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like, I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, sup? Man, who gives a fuck if he's gay or not, man? The man is not married. It's his business. Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, I, look, I, I'm just saying that, that it's uh, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. Right? I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a killer and a murderer and all that great stuff. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, really, what kind of message is that sending our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. Well, why do you care, man? Well, yeah, because, you know why? Because they all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck! 
them! Fuck them! They're not magic! No, no, they're no better than me. They're no better than me. Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Miranda! Miranda, I love you, Miranda! Come on! Come on, come on, it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Because she's a fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh, no, 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 we, we can make boku bucks here, man! We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come what on! What the fuck is wrong with me? Let's go! You drive, I'll get the shot! Go, go! Get us right up alongside that limo! Go, go! Invade that! Oh, you're human. You bitch! It's in the public interest! You home wrecker! There's nothing special about you! I don't believe it! She's slamming a speedball in there, man! This is journalistic gold! Okay, let's go again! We need the money shot! I love her! I hate her. He's a goddess. He's a whore. Arroo! Show us your marriage-busting muff, Miranda! You bitch. Man, they don't call her the silicone slattern for nothing. She looks like a bloodhound in a wind tunnel. God, I love her! Oh, man, no wonder this whole town's in therapy. I love you, Miranda! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, give me more, give me more. We done yet? No, she still looks too good. I want the prisoner of war shot. That's where the big zeros are. I'll nail it on this one. Set me up again. Fuck you, Beverly. This one's mine. Oh, no, no. It's that bottom feeder, Madison. Shit, he's getting the money shots. Where's your dignity, man? Forget Miranda. We can't let him steal my exclusive. Get alongside him. I'll knock the weasel off. Stay on that bastard. Maybe if you shut up for a second. That crusty old boot is mine. He fell off. What an amateur! Uh-oh! Looks like you wrecked your camera, Madison! Okay, buddy, let's get out of here. I'm already late for another stakeout. There's a small parking lot by the Cafe Redemption Courtyard in Morningwood. Drop me there, and you can keep the bike, because I look after my people. Look after your people? Man, I know when a ride is hot. If this is your bike, then I'm the fucking Pope, dawg. Okay, okay. Don't ruin the vibe. I think I got a decent shot of Miranda back there. So we splitting what you get for the photo, 50-50, right? Yeah, well, I kind of thought the bike would cover your share. I mean, I did do all the work. Man, I probably shouldn't talk, dog, but this is one fucked up line of work your ass in. It's about staying true to yourself. With muff shots? Miranda Cowan's 39 years old. We just made her day, man. They wanted the tramps. They courted it. It's a beautiful, abusive relationship. So whose day you making next? Uh, Samantha Muldoon, the singer. I got a tip off she's buying a North Korean baby on the black market. The holy grail of adoption contraband. This could define my career. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins' muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director? They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, 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 come by the manor next week. We'll continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. Man! Tracy! Yo! Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife? 
In my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Oh. Fuck. Dead! Oh. Come here! Ah! Fuck, man. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> this truck yours? Guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body to do it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? He'll wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, a dog shouldn't shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. He went left up here, dog. The fuck is he doing? Hey, get out the way! Motherfucker! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Okay, this is the turn. Hey, you in one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. He left his car, check it out. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts. Michael, fun! You got the wrong idea, man. He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You sorry now, I'm putting already! Yeah, he gonna feel this, dog. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Push the pedal, huh? Oh, fuck! Ha! Fuck it, eh? Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man! Fuck! Fuck him! And yeah, fuck his deck! Hey, homie, I think you put a little more than a deck down. That's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach, I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Yeah. Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Whoa. Oh. Martin? Martin Madrazo? That's what she said. Damn, dude's a kingpin, homie. Man, you better hope. I ain't hoping anything. Chick was hysterical. Now chill out. That coach should be doing the Russian broad. Chick needs to chill the fuck out. 
<laughs> dead men. Dead men. <laughs> dead men? But you did just pull her life apart, homie. Yeah, I guess I did. All the more reason for Coach to show her a good time. <laughs> Man, your ass is crazy. You like a sailor on shore leave making up for lost time. Oh, I've been at sea, all right. Everything they tell you that you want, kid. You don't need it. Yeah? Like what? Fast cars, big houses, beautiful women. Man, you talking from the perspective of privilege, homie. To a hungry dude like me? Man, all that shit look good. Hey, the hunger's the first thing you lose. When that goes, the hunger and the anxiety, you get sloppy and you ain't worth a shit. Well, what I just saw up there was a dude that's eating good, but he useful. Man, you could teach me a few things, dawg. Yeah, lesson number one. Don't meet the mother of your children in a skin joint. And I don't know, dawg. Strip club. Lesson number two. Don't expect her to fucking change. She'll be picking your pocket and rubbing up on other men until the day you die. The advice I'm after is more work-related, homie. Shit, we got some heavies on us, homie. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep driving. You got a piece, now's the time to use it. Got one of those bastards! Uh-oh, that guy got it! Yeah, my nigga, that's it. Okay, we go back to my house and think about this. Wow, shit, you did good. I mean, I don't know if you hit anyone because your aim's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you sure I didn't hit? Uh, maybe go to a shooting range and work on your aim before we go out again. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. I got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes! Fucking A, Bubba! Man, you sound kind of manny. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me. We handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking clans. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Ha! <laughs> man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that, I'm better than that. Damn Skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? You taking some scores? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit too. Yeah, like what? About this city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. This could be cool. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It... Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, Della. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance. Or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but 
That's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but. That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay. Hey, baby, I'm just trying to tell you I care about you. You care about yourself. I need someone real in my life. We wasted years on this bullshit and you still the same. I want a family. I need some security in my life. Goodbye, Franklin. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you! Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? 
If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well... That's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, Force a habit. Yo, Get a light, asshole! Hey, you! Two bites. Take your pick. This one'll do. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV! Oh, hey, screw this! Insane. End of the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life! Hey, Pop! You're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. You'll die first, old man, right after you buy the TV. This hurts so, so much, but I don't care. Come on, Jim. Keep pushing. I'd never bike with the man who murked my flat screen. You're a sore loser! Come on, seems a little too real, you know? All right, lie down, man! Oh, 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 shit! Holy shit! Oh. If I have a heart attack, it's your fault! It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> Time one. Do not. Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. You did. My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to meet you. What's going on, brother? You got something? Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? Hello, this hurts so, so much, but I don't care. You bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here. Don't give up, even though you're losing. I'd never bike with the man who murked my flat screen. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding. Good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah!
Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! Come. I like him! What's your problem? You're such a Ask jerk! Me. Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Let's to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! You know, like you get sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. 
You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. So where you parked? You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shot. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. That's our truck. You know the drill. Dispatch, what you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> Yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Cause you look like you know what you doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never see my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you'd been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you around. Don't you hey, baby, me? Where you at? Because you're supposed to be working, JV. No, I ain't your mama. She got wise and ditched your ass first chance she could. How faded are you, nigga? You ain't even making no sense. Uh-uh, who's that? Who you with? Keandra? I'm out here covering your ass while you sat smoking with that hooch. Yeah, she don't talk back to you because she's dumber than dirt, fool. Well, you ain't putting your hands on me anytime soon. That skank got mad diseases. Yeah, whatever. I'll talk to you later. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's 
Since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 I'm not restrained at all. I'll, I'll, I'll take a seat. See? Mm. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. Might be why I get all these migraines. 
seriously, it, it might be why. There it goes. You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You got a college education to do this? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> He's this close to installing a ball pit. He's become such a cock. <laughs> if we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up, and we'll be outsourced to Molly. Screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, oh. Um, All right, follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing head milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing C's! I don't like- ah! Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Huh, fucking tits! Give me up! The finals continue with female Bob. You guys are going to the finals. Mimes on fire. Woo! What a talent. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, 
We're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked in at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Let's... Whoa! Last, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Don't touch me! Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you! The Dieter Sachs door detective! There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen, you worthless turd! You had that opportunity! I said get off me, you stupid bastard! I told you, she's a fighter! That's assault on top of the shop that will be. Man, the paperwork! What you packing? You know, standard LSPD issue 9 mil. Sweet. I gotta get some hardware. The store detective's a detective, you know. Kinda. Nope. I'm gonna take her into booking. Get out of the car! Okay! Hit the gas! Let's go! Let's go, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I do not want to go to prison! Chill out! It's under control! Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Are we going home? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love. Big love. So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this Lovers on the Run act? Can we drive home, please? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. 
Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending habits have got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey, that's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figures. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know, the net figure. I've seen the net. It's a fucking disgrace. Hey, I'm bringing it around. Sure you are. Just please give me some warning before they repossess. It ain't that bad. Couple of weeks. A day, even. I don't want to be there. Honey, we're fine. Sure. Where are you going? Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and... Yeah. Thank you. You got lucky, buddy. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. Uh, shh, shh, shh. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the corner. 
car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. I just need to lose 50 Do you pounds. Mind? Next you reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Hello there. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. Uh, shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building, see where the ventilation comes out. The best part about Clucking Bell is throwing it up after. Whatever. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? If they only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. System. Okay, capture an image of the system, and we're done. That's the shot. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Meet me at the bar. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remote. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes who rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window. Someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. 
I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise making decisions that is your domain my friend here now, there's two ways i see of doing this we go in smart or we go in loud and dumb remember the vents if we're gonna be smart we pump a little knockout gas through the air system then hit the cabinets while everyone's out you'll have to source the gas of course but crowd control won't slow you down and that might improve the take the cover is pest control so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks it means getting a pest control van though you go in dumb and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles but we can't buy them and risk them getting traced no 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 we've got to find some in circulation it's awkward it's a uh, <laughs> real awkward but this is the gun favored by LS PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay, select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful. And the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of the aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man.
Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch's concerned. America's newest sweetheart? Man, she likes cotton candy and puppies. Yeah, ain't getting in the bunghole. Wow. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh, and who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. We need to blend in ninja style. Oh, Follow my lead, confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah. Me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. Shh. The blow our cover. This should be fucking interesting. I can hear someone. Stay close and play it cool. What do you want me to do? I'm at work. Just change his diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells like number two. He's a grandpa. That's what family do. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. Do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. How are it going? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of bungalow dress? No, was it bad? Like a crime scene. Andrea said it was another enema party. Not again. What is this with rich people and enemas? I don't understand celebrity. Get a move on! Quick, quick, before he blows his load! Come on, they should be just past this pool. They're right around this corner. Are you ready to see America's sweetheart getting in the sweet meat? Here, you take the camera. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Is that good, babe? Oh, oh, it's fantastic. Really? Yes. Oh, you're so I must say, for a virgin, you're really not that into this. I'm only a virgin for TV. Really? I mean, I always wash afterwards and jump up and down, so it doesn't count. What? I'm not releasing a sex tape for at least three years. Unless my agent tells me to. What? I thought this... I love you, Poppy. I really want us to go places. I thought we could be the cutest teen couple. But, Justin, you're 21 and I'm 24. We only say we're teens for marketing purposes. That's not true. Okay. Just get on with it, will you? Hungry. There's someone watching. Oh, oh shit! Security! Creepy, aboard! Creepy, aboard! Creepy, creepy. This way! You're fucking Come on! Creepers. Go, go, go! Give me that camera! Get in! Get in! The show coming after us! Well, don't just sit there! Film that psycho slut! Damn! America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch! <laughs> yeah, I know! She's terrifying! It's perfect! I'll try to lose them! I was working on my quads, you idiots! Straight road coming up! This is your chance to get a good shot of her! Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk! You people are stuck! Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better! Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dawg! I'm taking a sharp right! Keep that camera on her! Those two men are child molesters! I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection! Hold on! Yeah, fuck you too, man! You have no idea what I'm capable of! Move! Come on, man! Hit the gas! This crazy-ass bitch! Ah, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! No! Man, shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever. She's fine. We'll wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. 
Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple. Elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent? Depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good, we should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Ricky. I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Packy and Kareem, the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. I'll drive. That's what you're paying me for. F, come on, get in. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. So what kind of people we working with, man? Don't worry about the crew. Worry about yourself. Look, homie, I'm gonna look after my shit. It's just I'm curious. Well, the guy coming inside with me is tough. The driver and hacker, they ain't so good. But you know how much of Madrazo's money am I meant to give away, huh? Shit, it sounds reasonable. Yeah, we'll find out just how reasonable in a couple hours. All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. Yo. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Excuse me! Exterminator! Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Get your ass out of here. Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. Get in here. That was it. They going out. You love her. Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told them to fix that goddamn AC! Oh. What's going on? Let's go. Let's do this! Come on! Let's do this, kids! Too long, okay? This alarm is gonna go. That 
some point. You gotta be kidding me! Why did I employ a hacker who can't run antivirus software? Shit, um, uh, okay, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. We ain't leaving here till we hit the target, come on! I think you've got maybe 30 seconds left. I'm leaving them empty! All right, that's our target. Keep it up, see how much we can get. Ten, um, nine, um, eight, seven, six? Yeah, baby, we got it all. Let's go, let's go. Yo, so for the last time, move it. Man, get the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. Let's go, come on. Stick to me, people. I'm driving blind back here. I can do with some damn warnings before we turn. Kareem, you the driver? Shit, where we going? Oh, intense! Ooh. I can do with some directions, Kareem. Headlights on now. If I know about the mud, I might have chose a different bike. Hey, these sports bikes ain't handling the mud. You should have got some scramblers, man. You asked for bikes. I got fast bikes. No one said scramblers. I hope this is the exit we're after. Dude, we're here, and it uh, looks like the cops might know where you're coming out the sewer. Don't worry, I got you. Hang in there, boys. I got bull bars on the truck. I'll make short work of these cops. I'm out of car, man! Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you mind if I video this? It is insane! These fucking cops! No more cherry tops, bro. We are clear. All right, we got a window. Let's stop at the end of the river, get the bikes in the truck. Waiting on you, kid. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. All right! Woo! I'm doing some rails tonight. You guys gotta join my herd. When L.I. fired me, they said I was dangerous. <laughs> they was right, yo. In you come, come on. Whatever. Call your gym guy, Lesty Baby, cause we got merchandise. All right, people, we need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. so what now? We get out of here, keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm a change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. My brother from another crack mother. What's going on now? JB, 
Niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him, leaving messages, saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. Yo, yo, I can handle that. 10-4. Put the hammer down. Hey, man. What's up? Hey. 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 Man, I almost saw myself. Phew, thought I was a goner there for a second. Could you drop me out the nearest repair shop? That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times. But she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out, you know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dawg. Okay, thanks again. That could have been much worse. If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You could tell J.B. I did his work for him again. I will, boo. Soon as he wakes up. Oh, there you are. Hey. I feel like we haven't seen each other in forever. You wanna have some dinner later? I'd love to, but you know, yoga waits for no one. Another time. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good, we did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems, he knows a guy Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, You forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor, I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny! Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right! Don't make nothing right! Not what you done with me! I'm telling Johnny, leave it! I ain't leaving nothing! Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! 
Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? Is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy, all right? Let's, let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> that doofy cowboys forced our hand. We gotta find the rest of the lost. Wait! This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't. Re Find him, Wade. Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. Well, you just get in that bitch Ashley you was in. So if we bury Johnny in the desert, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I wasn't disrespecting. I just pointed out that we killed her. The bikers are meant to be over by the farm on the right. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Down he fell! <laughs> Who makes a set? Tight work! Terrified kill! Alrighty, Root! Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need some seat belts back here, or, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back I don't mind losing. Oh. Oh. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. Which of you tweaked out imbeciles wants to kill some bikers? Oh, I got that thing with the fighting and, and the Los Santos. And... You know I'm not that good with the. Uh... Oh, I guess it falls to me then. That's it. Yeah, lead us back. Right on top of them. 
Oh, look, look! They're pulling up! You did it, Trevor! They're stopping! Sit back and watch the show, you useless pricks! Go on, go back! Okay, got chocolate. You stupid motherfucker! Such a shame we got to kill such a fine cooker of Christmas. Ah! Yeah, man, yeah. Understand your pain, friends! I'm here to offer a way out! I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas. It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky, huh? One of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the inn. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. Trevor! You have been told. I'll go away, man, but my people. You sure you want to do this? I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. Oh, that feels better! <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more. Let's get out of here, man. Quick! <laughs> this is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. Calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am. I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in 10 years' time saying, all is well. Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Downley, yes it is! Well, you told me about him. Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. He's locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? If I knew what happened, I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run!
speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Look, just keep away, okay? Hola. Easy there, don't bump into Get me. Get the fuck oh, out of my way. Money. Everybody wants something from What's me. What's that? Oh, 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 Whatever. Trevor. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I mm. saved your husband. Now give me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay. But any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. We're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his <laughs> humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So bomb. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little free clean. They really want you dead? It's a bus of We've got them on the back foot! Come on! Ortega's dead! And so's your crew! Go back to the lab and get me a damage report! 
I should uh, check on the Chinese delegation. They might be catching a chill. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. Come quick, boss! What's going they on? They were here huh? for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. No Santos, it's a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. <laughs> Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? It'll be quiet as a mouse. All right, now, stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Come up! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. 
The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. You're walking like a shot yourself. Move! Sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! Clean shot, Trev! There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! Ooh! Down he goes! Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man! You're in my crosshairs again! And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I'm on it! But there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's come out! Good kill, Trevor! I'm not fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! He knows I'm here! This is it! He caught me! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that! Passenger? In the van! Look out! The guy who's taking receipt of these guns no. is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a bike here on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. While the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. That guy is clinging on. Feel safe. You set up a buyer for these guns already? I thought we was just hitting back at them for the thing with the statue. If you'd read our latest shareholder report, Ron, you'd know TP Enterprises has been exploring a takeover of some lost MC business in the armaments and narcotics sectors for some time. And that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. 
For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniffing engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. Someone's out there and wants us to know it. You think it's the buyer? Affirmative. Make the drop. They got him! Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. Enterprises are raising guidance, and the lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. A few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yep. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you, and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you? 
And you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. Stupid puke. <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. in the marketplace! The motherfuckers in the house, oh, boy! Fuck oh, oh, Trevor man. Phillips, man! Fuck him! How about a merger, you pricks? Ass face! You gonna die in this cook. Larry's been hit! Crazy. He ain't taking our crank! Fucking around and get me some help! Die! Get that motherfucker out the house! It's over! You trying to get killed? You're in our house now. Keep him upstairs! Oh, shit! He's down here! Don't come any closer, all right? You win. You can have the contract. We ain't got the ambition, man. We went wrong, okay? Made a bad call. This is just like a subsistence farm. At least it should be. We'll correct that. Come on, man. Gas in a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. You disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, wasn't you the one who sent them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Jumping nice? Like flowers or a cake? Shut up. The Lost Camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place. Got go, okay? I heard about the banging. 
and screaming, the gang not knocking the ice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aw. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. 
A leggy troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. And maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think, but what happens in the end? That, Wade. We do not know. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on I Find Maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. okay. Fuck. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? 
Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's we'll say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. I can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. This has got to be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Come on, come on, come on! You can't park there! Uh, Production vehicles only! <laughs> come on, Sir, you dipshit. Ah, oh, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a. Uh, dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Ah. Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that stuff a 20 in there. Oh! Can you fucking do something about this? 
All right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, I got security! Security! What you fucking say? Come on, big guy! Come out there! No! Fuck Come here, you little shit! Tracy, go home! Hey, you little prick! They took our ride, we take their truck. There! We take the truck! Hey! Hey! Not my rig! The trailer was slowing us down! Let's get that prick! We gotta go to the left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting! Now, yeah, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig! We'll flatten this dick back. Fucking Laszlo! I knew he was an asshole. Hey, let's get up Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? Hey, take a left up here. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. We'll get him! We'll get him! But well, we're sure taking our time about it. Ah, ah! He's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never fun. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, 
Take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. They would call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is. The point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> Boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business. I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest? For once. It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. We're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that, or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. 
Ever after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Don't be so rude. Look out! Still <laughs> would be nice. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it together so if your problems are my problems then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems <laughs> uh -uh. nope what if I lose my job someone comes into my office starts reading my files they'll see the things I did I know a lot of stuff I can cop a plea get five years but you Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well, then we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kinda liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Out of there! Out! Now!
That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Put your hands on your head! We've got protocol! It's all a big misunderstanding! Shithead! Man down! Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people, if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember... I told you I know people, feds, who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. 
So what's the move then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, be a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you, big. Now come on, you better take off. All right, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. The only side effects are political. Excuse me, sir, can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reefer. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grow it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean... I'm sure they're nothing serious, but, uh, oh. I never let them get too near. Oh, the fuck is that? Oh, shit. What is going on? Ah! Are we finished yet? Any more of you freaks out there? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, feels so good. And after that, you see, <laughs> the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discuss globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, <laughs> duh. I love it. I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa. Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stop now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. 
Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. No, all the service roads were fucked because of it. Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T. Enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah. And best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring breath. Right. Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, ah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> all right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency. Headquarters, downtown. Your new friends are a riot. 
No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position, I'll drop. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? No, no, no. See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. I guess you got the world wrong. thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief! I'm not! 36 flow. I got you. We are not clear to fight. There's another ship! No, 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 no! Come on, yeah. What's happening? Hey, oh, yeah. We got a window, T! Pull us out! This is unacceptable! Nah! Help! Hey, DK, I wanted to bring that car. Hey, why are we just hanging here? Hey! Stooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! You're gonna get us killed, you know that? <laughs> Don't get angry, Michael! Do something! No! You think it's funny seeing me dangle here like a duck in a carnival game? Whoa, That's it! Uh, get us out of here! Roger that! Whoa. Whoa. Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job. Thank you. Don't mention it. The Bureau. The FIB. 
They will make everything okay? I'm sure. Don't worry, they'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Yeah, well that don't seem to matter too much. Take me! Hey, hey! No, huh? No, 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 no! Hey, hey, I said easy! Oh, oh, come on, give the guy oh. a break! Uh. I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the Bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. One, two, three. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it go. Maintain it. Air through the nose. And out the mouth. <sighs> that is okay. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Strength, Michael. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. You feel that the emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. 
I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Just exhale, Michael. He's actually trying. I can't believe it. Breathe, Mikkel. <sighs> Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Now, you breathe. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? Now, you breathe. Very good. Now let it go. Uh, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? Hold your anus strong, my child. Exhale. You're sweaty, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Breathe, please, Michael. So. Take in the air and release it. Breathe out, please. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Lengthen. Strengthen. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Your aura is just like, wow! Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. You're turning red. No vanity. Come on. Take in the air and release it. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikkel. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, oh, mm, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Wait, ah! Ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikkel. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless... I'm talking in your ear, soldier. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. 
Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up! Oh, what did I bring into this world? You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. No way. No way for space. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's man? up? What's How up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not normal. Yo, you're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Stop moaning and drive back. Hold the phone. I gotta stop. Oh, I was in there. It's harmless. Fets have been using it for decades. You anesthetize me? You fucking I'm shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving huh? out. All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! I was 
Tracy? Trace! Oh! Jimmy? Amanda! Michael, I think you've finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise. Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass shut sister. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Who is this fool, man? What is Man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street.
We shooting shit up, spraying some other fuckers, I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and Stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and Stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust, Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Hey, be on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> 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 My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me the... Give me the... Give me the Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler! Fuck ah. Oh, you motherfuckers are dead! Oh, we gotta get off road street! Fuck! They bust the van! We on foot now! Go! 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 Go!
The life of a gangbanger. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. 
What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You need anything? You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Good. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you anything? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. Not the waterboard! Please don't! Not the water! Don't do it! Oh, it shouldn't be legal! No! Don't do it! Always by the book. That's my vibe. He's wet, all right. Let up. Are we gonna get him up? I can't breathe. <laughs> Like it never happened. I wish it never happened! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Well, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Talbot. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? 
A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him up. No, please. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. Not the pliers. I just have them lasered. Hold on! Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. I got the kid now. This thing can fix the That's what we were goal. afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built... I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got... What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... Got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Wood. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the air. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. 
I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. I was. Oh, man, I don't want... <clears throat> Here we be. <sighs> Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. me y'all peace <laughs> got ya motherfucker would you stop doing this shit oh oh it's you hey how's it going homie <sighs> yeah hey uh, you seem incredible lately yeah trevor fillers but i doubt if you want a picture of him oh wait 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 wasn't he uh in, in, in the, the men's room nah nah oh shit i gotta tell you this is unbelievable Man, you're not gonna believe this. They want to do a reality series about me. Yeah, it's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? It's all about the incredibly glamorous life I lead. Huh? Uh, good. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, except, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna need somebody else to take some shots for me. No, no I'm cool on that, dog. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, homie. All right, look, just if you get a chance, right? I mean, there's no rush. Okay. Oh, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll send you a list of names and some links so you can see who they are. Right? Uh, yeah, well, whatever, man. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame won't change me one bit. Yeah, I was afraid you would say that. Ah! Oof! Ah! Uh, I'm good! I'm good! I'm okay! Wow, everything's good! Ah! the 1%. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke-in. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know. Get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. <laughs> you know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, this seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick before someone sees you. And look out for the cops and the monsters. They're everywhere. Franklin, what's poppin'? You get my text. You sound messed up. Nah, I kicked the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Can you cover one more job, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. God damn it. Okay, last time.
This is dispatch. Broken down car at Spanish Avenue. Who's in the vicinity? Over. Yeah, I'll take that. 10-4. Copy that. Clear after you. Finally! I called you people like an hour ago! Just get me to a mechanic. I still don't have time for this right now. Seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just the little man. I know that. I'm just saying, there has to be accountability. Not at the drudge level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know they don't. I get daily stats. You know, I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. I'm just saying, maybe they need a new system. Or maybe you need a new car. Like I say, I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver, not the mule. Enough. All right, you need to shut the hell up, homie. Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. I was wondering if you'd be back in again. Listening to you and those two friends of yours bantering back and forth, it was so cool. It was like I was in a movie or a music video or something. Man, what are you talking about? I love the hip hop. P.G. Jackson, MC Clip. That ain't real hip hop. No, no, of course not. I mean, what would I know? I barely exist outside this store. Are you kidding me? What? That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal then? <laughs> Funny motherfucker. You know Princess Georgina, that snooty English royal? She, and not really. She don't kick it in Chamberlain Hills much. Well, word has it she likes to blaze one for queen and country, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a deal going down right now. I need you to meet my contact outside Chico's hypermarket. And try not to blow his cover, okay? All right, man. This one I got. I'll hit you when it's done. Beverly's boy? Shit, I guess I am, huh? They're round back. Heavy security. I'd take a photo from the roof if I was you. Okay, I gotta go. This conversation never happened. Yeah, I got you, homie. It's good.
I have sticky cowboy, mindless passion, purple plunder, endless panic, whatever you want. Marvelous. I'll take it all. <laughs> okay. I am on holiday. I mean, apart from a few photo shoots with orphans and cripples, but like, I could do that in a coma. They really are the same the whole world round, you know? Okay, give me a second, eh? So like, back in England, my help would like, totally do this for me, but they're like, super scared of being arrested and totally banged by scary dudes in US jail, yeah? So like, so ghastly. It's just, it's such a total drag, I mean, the UK taxpayer gives them money to protect me and be my servants, so they should just, like, do what I say. Even if it's, like, lick my shoe or buy me drugs or, like, perform a sex act on my dog, you know? The taxpayer should totally get their money's worth, right? I mean, back when we had an empire, the king could, like, chop people's heads off and stuff, and that was so much better. I mean, the queen is like my granny. You know, it takes hundreds of years of inbreeding to get recessed chin, buck teeth, and snout like nose like mine. I mean, I'm a rare breed. I should be, like, cherished and stuff. Okay, here you go. This should chill you the fuck out. Oh, well, one of you apes, please pay this poor man. Really, the Secret Service has gone down the pan. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. I really enjoy meeting the underclass. I'm so relatable in that way. Hey, nephew. No doubt, no doubt. I'm busting next to them bitches. Uh. Hell yeah. Time, boy. Incredible, dude! That photo is solid gold! This is bigger than climate change! Imagine the headlines. All those highness puns. <laughs> I am gonna be rich! Don't you mean we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mikasa, Tukasa, you know. I I'll catch you later. I need to get this to print. Hello? Hello? Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high speed chase with the cops. Like, like right now, bro. Apparently, she's wasted. Get after them. See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted. I guess that's her. Man, how the fuck I get myself into this? photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape sent sloppy poppy in a full-blown meltdown. <laughs> How does it feel to be on the front lines, dude? Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Ah, uh, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch. Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Uh, animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. <sighs> Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right. 
to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from the earth. <laughs> Those clowns over there. Spoke too soon. Head spin. Not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. The fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a. Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor uh, is a good guy. He got family. And got kid, and he flew. That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Well, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating. There was Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss it. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got work worth your stick in the mug. Uh, look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to. 
Hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks now. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get to dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dish. Come back. on, just about to start. Sometimes I think I'm like a Here comes the suit. Stereotype. I gotta oh, check yeah. in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. What? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wayne here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Meriwether guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. They're gonna check us. It's those containers. Baby. That's it. Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. 
There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. Hey! There ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? Pick up the red containers down at this end and put them on the trucks at the other end. That's it. You're in position. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. All the way to the end. That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. The truck is clear to go. And you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Take us back up to the other end. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. <laughs> what do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life. Floyd, it's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spilling shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Restricted access. No enciendo. Uh, no understand you. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. 
English. Uh, must have just read the manifest. He said, he said, oh, You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this'll do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. <sighs> and there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cock snots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aight, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. You okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever gonna smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man! Smell him! No. Smell him! No. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. Damn it, Deborah! Uh. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, 
then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Ah, Trevor, hey. Mikey, hey, listen, loving it here in LS, really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin. I'm here. Oh, it's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can park it there. Your 
you're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Your life must be so exciting. Say again? I can't even imagine. Gang signs, initiations, dropping homies, ready to bleed for the hood. Live fast, die young. Respect. Man, what are you talking about? You don't know me. Oh, no. I didn't mean any offense. It's just my life is so dull, and I still haven't moved out of my parents' place. Anyway, I'll just be quiet. I only listen to white rappers. Hey, I hear you. Do I need makeup? Here Am I blotchy? Hey, Bev! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot! You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot! It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> I don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... <laughs> But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? Let's just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. We'll cut Poppy's reaction in when we get back to the studio. Awesome. I can't believe the effort I used to go to for celebrity shots. If I'd known I could just get my agent to call their agent and stage it all, my life would have been so much easier. Yeah, well, welcome to the big leagues, my friend. Let's get some lead-in lines, and then we'll wrap. Sure thing. Uh, we're rolling? Good. Okay. Poppy Mitchell, all-American good girl turned deviant slut. For years, she's cultivated the image that butter wouldn't melt in her mouth, when all along, it's been dripping with a different kind of protein. Well, is that too much? It's just weird, man. It doesn't even make any sense. Isn't butter a fat, not a protein? You're also literal. Uh, okay, okay, scrap that. Let's pick up. Uh, according to my insider sources, Poppy has been spotted here at the generic hotel. The question is, why? Is she really attending a charity fundraiser for starving children, or is she getting tag-teamed by the cast of Medicate Me? There's only one man you can trust for the answers, and that's why I'm risking life and liberty to bring you the truth. And cut. That'll work. Let's call it a day. I'll get the shot of you walking to the car. Ciao, ciao, baby. How did the interview go? What? Oh, yeah. That didn't work out so good. I don't think my air guitar was good enough. It must be awful having to beg for an entry-level job at your age. I'd say you could get a job here, but they literally don't employ anyone over 25. And nobody overweight. It makes me so sad and depressed for my own future. Do you have kids? I got a son and a daughter. Not that much younger than you. It's them it's the hardest on. Our generation was promised so much. Right. This feels so old-fashioned, buying clothes in person rather than online. Can Take it easy. Any money, Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, hey, look, Dad, we're worried. Way. I'm worried, yeah, too. That. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Wait, Floyd! Hey, you guys, I'm expecting company. All I want right. this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really oh, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. 
Is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Uh, where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, yeah, I can't idolize this. You know, he creeps. Yo! Uh, Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. And you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's Where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! Good! All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master! Let's go, Junior! Hey, Wade! Get Michael a wetsuit, all right? Take him to the boat. Oh! Hurry it up! We need some transport, don't we? I'm coming, man. I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot? I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Man, I really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool, so what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. I'll stop the car in the medium here. Get out, find your spot on the side of the bridge, and call Michael. All right, man, whatever. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? From what I read about them, yeah. They ain't no peace workers. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. There's some serious 
this manpower on this ship. First bomb, ready to go. Here's the door. Going in. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh shit! Are you okay, man? You gotta go. The alarm's gone, man. You okay? Bunch of guys in Port City. They caught me on the bridge, man. I'll clear as many as I can from the front of this ship. Say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that an Aston? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? 
You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. <laughs> you know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You could fuck with them all day long. But when you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is going to be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps. Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What do you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man, so what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Fuck! Nukes? Man, that dude is loco. Check out my boy. He got it going on. This all bullshit. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and you know, I did. I, I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Re real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. So you wanna hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places, but you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. We talked about the play already. Aye. Show me how good you got since last time. We got it. Copy that, Vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Car needs moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7. 4 Tanya, don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10 -1. You're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. 
Yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talk of Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. Damn, they got messed up. There it is. Okay, fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I heard that. Over. I think there's one on Adams Apple Boulevard. I'd say you about earned a tow job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you, you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You know different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rep boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him Golf Club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead-ass grapevine really outdone they self this time. Just drop that bad boy in the parking lot, and we done. Clearly, you do better without me getting you all hot under the collar. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> well, fuck you. You solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Again. How does that make you feel? Good. It makes you feel good? So you're fine with your woman out here with another man earning your money for you. I know, but I'm functional, baby. That's the difference. You don't even pull your pants down to piss no more. And where's my wedding? We'll be honeymooning on Mission Row way things are going. So you keep saying? Only ring I've had my finger in stank of your lazy ass. Yeah, well, you need to get your head straight. I ain't waiting around forever. Boy, you, David. You still bring the money, yes? The answer's no. I can't holler at my boy now? Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. Boy, do I envy you. Living outside the rules. I wish I could, but I'm a stickler. It's my curse. Oh, not this again. I was in a gang once in high school. Well, more of a club. We were light on the intimidation factor. You must have so many stories. Go on, tell me one. Just one. Come on, please. All right, all right, look, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a good one about a gun store owner who wouldn't shut up until one day a customer lost his cool and dropped the annoying son of a bitch. Gotcha. Point taken. We'll stick to the business at hand. Don't tell me you have another interview. 
What is it this time, receptionist at an online marketing company? I'm not saying you shouldn't take advantage of age diversity quotas, but it's so tragic. Feeling like the parents are arriving to break up a party every time you walk in a room. Hey, I'm not that old. That's it, head held high. I look at you and my dad and I see men stripped of their dignity, emasculated husks of their former selves. Well, at least he's got you to keep his spirits up. It feels like this shift is never going to end. All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Gee, you right! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? No, oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. <sighs> I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block. Tow truck, sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. All right, guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back through the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me. Ah, Brother O'Neill. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die, that's our curse. Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. 
Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! Really? I know you just made that map, bitch! Now leave me alone! What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. JDS, man. What's happening? It's Franklin. You wanna kick it with me or what? Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Just, like, call me if you need to cancel or don't or whatever. All right, I'll be there soon. Hey, Mike. Hey, I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. I gotta take the loot to this guy me and Trevor met, Devin Weston. Big time investor or something. Oh, all right, shit. Well, I'll see you at the lot. Jesus. Damn, yo, that was crazy. There he is, my main Hello? dude. Hey, I'm trying to get hold of someone to make a reservation. What the fuck? What's going on, bro? 
Good to see you, my man. And you too, dude. Call me Big J. No. I was wondering if you'd even hang out, seeing as my dad is an asshole. Man, look, your dad's okay, man. Give him a break. No, he's not. He's a liar, and he's a douche, and a dick, and I'm never speaking to him again. <sighs> man, stop being such a whiny bitch. Sure, he's made mistakes, man, but give him a fucking break. I can't give him a break, F-Dog. Man, stop with the F-Dog shit. I'm sorry. I just... I can't give him a break, or then I won't have anyone to blame for my problems. Man, you don't have any problems. Well, it feels like I do. Then that's your only problem. I need to transfer 100,000 to my other account. And did you find it? I think I need a bigger TV. I don't care I what it costs. I have to impress her. Yeah, boy, I'm gangster okay. now. Thanks. Give it up for F Dog, you big J. Man, shut the fuck up. Hey, I can handle my liquor, seriously. I drink a lot, and I don't usually shit the bed. Oh, That's good. Do you shit the bed, homie? Shut up. <laughs> bed shitter, I knew it. your ass out of here, bro. That's it for the homies. Until we meet again. Hey. What's cracking? What's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Hey. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah. After the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is. I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you're the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Hmm. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Michael, you better get on your way. Get moving, Em. Block both lanes of traffic. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Did Public Works change their schedule? Hey man, I got these motherfuckers! Get away from the door! 
Blow the door! Everyone out! Let's go! On the ground, now! Move it! My fucking ears! I'm fucking deaf, you complete pricks! Clean out the van, I got the guards. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up! Come on, good to go! You hear all them sirens, dog? Looks like they hit their panic button. Half the LSPD incoming! All right, F. Stay in cover there. I'll be up here. Fuck! Fall back! We'll never get out of here! We gotta hold position! Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man! Shit, you look after yourself, dog. all right? They got me locked down! Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards.
Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Hey, 
you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> I'm strangely excited. It's not strange at all, actually. This isn't gonna change anything! All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! Ah! Not cool! Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs? I don't want a new deal! So much has to be off the show entirely! Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well! Oh! I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliché-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya! So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I 
I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Man, are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. Well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah. This motherfucker. Woo! as you can be when you're all along and everyone hates you. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, Holm. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh. oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Let's 
off with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. About time. Get over the right here, angry. Pull over. Pull over to the side of the road. Pull it over. Now. Enough is enough. Stop your vehicles on the bridge. We got them. Okay. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick! And you, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. I'm way out in front, guys. The lead horse always burns out before the end. I can still take you. You believe that? Hey, Frank. Yeah. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. He don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey. 
Give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. I bet you get so many bitches, don't you? I'm sorry. Why doesn't that sound so offensive when I say it? Shit, you tell me. But seriously, the girls must flock when you're a high roller in the hood. Look, like I said, homie, I think you got me confused with somebody else. He called me homie. So cool. Anyway, where were we? Put up your hands and stand where I can see you! All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the sticks to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Hey, let's see if we can scan my buddy. Nice, great. You've upset. 
car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Jesus! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. There she is! <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, 
It is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Look, are you sure you can afford this? I just don't know whether dressing like a man half your age is the right way to compete with a man half your age. <laughs> you know, for a girl working as a store assistant, you've got a lot to say about my career path. Oh, this is just temporary until, you know, the recession goes away. I've got my whole life ahead of me. As soon as my compilate degree starts to gain currency in the marketplace or my blog picks up traffic, I'm out of here. It's hard to stay motivated in this recession. Babe, call my assistant. We'll set something up. I'm in the bed. Hasta luego. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. He's the truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Hey, and let's stay in touch on the headsets. Mike! Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt bike! Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there, to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those, easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole. Oh, 
All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. Come on. There it is. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Stay with it? Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. What the fuck? Oh, 
What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can... Hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Give me that car, dog. Uh, look at this. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Ooh, too close. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. This fruit salad has pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? I've gotta get hey, some get control of, of this set. Get him out of here. Security! Step out of the car. Oh. What's Brandon doing? Oh my god! This is an abduction! Pull over, 
Repo? Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko! They ain't gonna be on us for long! Damn, what's this button do? Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Jesus, Get to the side of the road! I've been abducted by a crazed fan! Girl, please! I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself! What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much, they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when I was three. I'm good for you. I didn't work till I was 10. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection, gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. People who hurt celebrities are treated worse than... People who hurt celebrities are treated worse than pedophiles in prison. And rightly so. Whatever you say. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans. But you, you've taken the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Stop the car! Bullshit, this is about the car. Guess what? When you got that old wrinkle-tight, fucked-up, chemical-filled-ass face, this ride'll still be beautiful. I'm getting out! Good luck with that! If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? The traffic spikes are still here, but you're gonna need a new seat. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set! Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. I often wonder when a guy like you comes in, 
What does he do after he leaves? What did he use that last purchase for? Ain't this supposed to be an ask no questions kind of place? So you're Ballas, right? Probably an OG, too. I was reading about them online. Are you trying to be funny with me, fool? No, no, I'm sorry. All that purple and green, colorblind, I have a lot of allergies, too. If you want to keep the rest of your senses functioning, I shut the hell up and just serve me. Got it. Loud and clear, sir. Sorry again. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, uh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! Ah. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That! was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Meriwether networks? Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I gotta. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface is gonna give that to me. 
Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio! I'm acutely aware of. Enough! I can be myself out here. Bullying, reckless, totally selfish. Do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in L.S., you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity.
off my plane! Now, who's gonna fly this thing? Meriwether Cargo Jet to Ground Control, please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field! Swapping radio channels. Over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. This ain't right. You're getting robbed. Uh, Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You. Hope. What? Forget it. Don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days? Just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor.
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. I'm calling Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. You bump it on purpose? All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all 
a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why will be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Michael will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Get out of the way! There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars three, six, nine, and one will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that, four units. Backup team at station is available. Oh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? 
Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Ah, dirt track. Might get bumpy. The meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification, minute long relay interval, third party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Well, we got here before the lord of the manor. <laughs> the man slows me down, always has. What took you so long? What took you so long? Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. 
So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. He handled himself at the jewelry store. This really the guy you want? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. Come on, shoot yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. I don't mean to pry, but is it true about all them bikers that got killed? All you do is pry, Melvin. It's the only thing you got left. I have been feeling fairly betrayed recently by the local community, yes, and seeking reparations for any wrongdoings. I always kind of liked Johnny K. Oh, oh you, oh, you did, did you? Well, there might still be a bit of him on the bottom of my foot if you're pining for a reunion. No, no. Just forget I said anything. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Uh, so where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? 
Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> That's right, Chop. We gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get in. Hey man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Cause these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Fucking elf! Elf! Oh, fuck! Look at you go, man! Look at you go! Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry, incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. 
And I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips! You're such a depressing cynic! Oh, poor Trevor! I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second! I remember this chopper! We used this to break into the IAA building! You stole it from the FIB? Not so! I took it in lieu of payment! There was a rifle on board too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help? You can get out right now. Hey, hey! We here on the ground! Them hick dudes in the woods! That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Any of them punks waiting around in the shallows? Out for a leisurely stroll in the woods, huh? Here we go. Guy between the trees. Scan right. I think I see someone. Mark, there's something! Fuck me! It's coming! There's nothing to shoot at. He's behind a rock. Let's do this, little homie. Fine. What's wrong with these rockets? You ain't getting this, O'Neill, brother. Dinner time, boy. Come on. Last guy's done, homie. All right. Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Trevor Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon.
It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey, what? Enough. You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. She, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! You, generic goon. What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job, the Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit, yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are. On our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, Walk out. Yeah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. 
Die pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. Uh, and never the two shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Yeah, we'll pinch it off. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! I'm ready, let's go! On the floor! Unless you got shares in this bank, you don't gotta worry! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here you soon, so keep an eye out. Little man. Get over here, M. Door should go in if you kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Ever meet this alarm guy? I'll fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Shit. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <laughs> Sweet mother of shit. I said back off! Shit to do with you! You're in the wrong fight! 
More army? This is why our defense spending is as much as the rest of the world can find. How the fuck is Uncle Sam involved? Boys, look over here, they're flying in a tank. Shit, we gotta move. Come on, we should split them up. I'll go over here and cause some trouble. You get back to Frank. When you're together, try and draw. Oh, Good thinking, Packy. Hey, we're lucky to have someone with your experience on the team. All we got... Sit tight, man. It's getting hairy over here. It's hairy over here too, man. Chill. Who else will be fucking this up? Oh, over here. There's a right. Good kid. Go, 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 go. On the right, and the left. Hey, quite a disturbance you cause. Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on. You guys can make it green. Now, let's go inside the group. Me shot, old man, huh? I'm grouped just fine. Man, y'all look hot in the motherfucking these suits. The platform, let's go. Come on, now. do it. Hold me, <laughs> Jesus. They're all over us! <laughs> ah, it was going so sweet! Just fuck off already! Need some backup here! I need you to cover uh, me! Go away! Oh, my boys, I'm still breathing! Where you at? The tank pushed us into a chicken factory! Okay, I see the place! I'll keep an eye out for the boys! How many dudes they got in this you private arm? How you doing back there, Frank? The train! It's our only shot! Hey, Give Frank! You cover. good? You wanna play with everybody? Hey, hey, there's a bunch of planks heading your way! I'll see what I can do to them! Any help we can get! There's some guys coming our way! Packy's trying to hold them! Might give us a chance to hit the train! The platform! Let's go! Hey, you done good, King. Slip out of town. Call Lester about your cut. The crazy Irishman's giving us a chance. Let's catch that train. Let's hop the train. Come on. Here we go. Right here. Get on. Fucking it. Let's go. Yo. Uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Hey. Fuck. Seatbelt. Serious? Hello? Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative That's thoughts right. as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your 
profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Hell, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I'm out in the desert now, Doc. My wife left me, my kids. Ah, oh, Christ, we upset some guy, but that wasn't enough. We stole his wife. Now we gotta leave town. I'm living in a trailer with my psycho old buddy Trevor. He keeps killing people, Doc. I mean, you know, shit, me too, but... Ah, oh, Christ, things are just really fucked up again. You've gotta make more time for therapy, Michael. This is a major relapse. Any other violent outburst, Michael? <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and... Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Yeah, it's easy for you to judge, Doc. I had a tough childhood. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but the last few days... A lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. Listen, I know I ain't been perfect, okay? But I have been sort of better. It's progress. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That would take some doing. What a shit -up. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. Oh. Jesus. Fuck. Ah, oh. man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat and Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. All right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold, 
Sometimes our work, priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, getting changed? What have, what have you turned into? Conductor on this train? You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. We've been rerouted! Sorry! I ain't far out. You under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. How you doing? I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Teams arrived! Come on, come on, come on, let's get out of here! It's dark and wet and loud in here, T, alright? No more snipers, so you can come out as soon as you find something! They're parachuting in now! Stop looking for your tiddler and find the loot! when I miss a putt. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. 
You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Man didn't even get a trial, just popped up and supermaxed. Is in hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be Deadman in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. Inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hello. Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh -huh. All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Fucker. Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie! I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on. Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? 
This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnt out bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God! Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity! This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! There'll be a grate over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right. So, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha! <laughs> I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. That should do it. Okay, we swim down the tunnel, gain access to the facility. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're a hundred yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davy? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Come on, get up the ladder. Ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. 
Alright, what's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Dave, you're on point. I'm leaving from the rear. Against the wall, quick! Oh, heck! Oh, heck! Can we go? So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out! Ah! Grab the card. Next floor. Come on. How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. You. You. Door. Now. I don't know what you think you're doing. Door can only be triggered internally. Pause it. We got company. I got this. You. Hands up. Back up. Back up. And freeze! We get collateral! You might be safe, but Big Brain here isn't. Open! The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agent. This'll make me... the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Warning, facility has been breached. Facility has been breached. It's gonna get heavy here. Use a real gun. Gypsy hey. security. I don't wanna be here. should be arriving. Wouldn't be surprised if they had the whole county on lockdown. Guess what I need? I got another fucking agent in my pocket and a battalion of soldiers on my ass. I don't want to be here either. Wait. Stay no. Get the agent in the refrigeration unit. He's over in that container. Come on. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell-by. Okay, steady. Uh, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple of clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig! And we need a flying pig rig right now. Get in line with the container! Clear down! Easy does it! Run it up with a loading bay! We missed the window! Agency response team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on! Let's go! Special agent, I got this covered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet from my country! Go, go, go! Pull us up! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Ah, well... Maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Ain't to be easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. 
When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> Take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For some, for some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You street you! I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The other wise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I miss you already. The F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is 
that floor. No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! <laughs> Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kinda uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but. But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? This is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. 
Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael, que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. <sighs> you know, I'm up a little down, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. Okay. Well, I'm back in Los Santos, at least. Yeah, you know, I had to leave town for a while, after my family left me. Thanks for touching go there, Doc. And there was a bank, a train, a chemical weapons facility. <sighs> Government. Trevor, they just keep asking me to do this crazy shit. And it escalates. It's gonna keep on escalating, too. Until I'm dead, or I've killed everyone on the fucking planet. Jesus. But... Now I'm back in the city. And I'm back in touch with the movie guy. God, I my way out. You can't say no, Michael. It's the most powerful weapon you've got. Have you acted out in any other ways? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, hey, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of doing better. You know? Not perfect, mind you, but... better. The thing is, Michael... <laughs> You know me, I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Mm. Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Mm, maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office, but, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. Look out! It's me. You're not gonna believe this shit. The store's been hit again. Okay, what is it this time? What? I can't shop in here? I've noticed that older men with a full head of hair are particularly prone to dressing age inappropriately. You know, for a sales assistant, you really are terrible at selling. We're trained to be snooty and scathing. It's part of the suburban vibe. Well, aren't you just too cool for school? I'm too cool for school, but you'd get arrested at school for being an old pervert. Wow. You know something? You'd be BFFs with it feels like this shift is never going to end. Not now. Message for me, get off your fat ass. You see, this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you, I'm on a run.
Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Oh, Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! I'm exercising! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. That space is yours! Own it! It's called exercise, you lazy idiots! I finally got one of those fucking people today. Age range! Firing on all cylinders! You make me feel well adjusted! Okay, here we go! Left push! Come on! Flick the switch, Marianne! Let's go left! Next. I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope! I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Oh, not too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! 36, 37, 69, 70. Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. Doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you. You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start. I got this locked in. Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. Are you for real? I'm not even feeling it. Man, I really ain't dressed for this shit. Damn, that's cold. Don't be a baby. Mommy's not here. I'm your mama now. What are you doing, Marianne? Focus. Focus! T1, baby! Here we go! Not enough in the tank! I should have tapered! Did you taper? What the hell are you talking about? Scaling down training! Before a race! I bet you fucking tapered! You out of your fucking mind! The first I knew about this was seeing your skinny ass on the beach! I said you were checking me out! This is a disaster! I should have had an energy bar! <laughs> Pathetic! I blame the transition! You seem to be going through some kind of change, lady! I'm 39, you son of a bitch! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning. All right, I gotta keep going. I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser. Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out. Go to hell. James, 
It's your Uncle Trevor. I thought we could, uh, hang out. Uncle T, back from the dead. Again. Sure. Uh, let's hang. Great. I'll be there soon. Trevor Phillips. I'm so glad we're hanging out, T. Good. Because me and my dad, we're not speaking right now. Yeah, I know. He's an asshole, Uncle T. I know. I agree, Jimbo. He's one prize asshole. His whole life is just one long manifestation of assholeness. He's ruined you, hurt me, and fucked his life up. Sometimes I wish you were my dad. I can see why. The thing is, us guys, we need role models, and your dad ain't much of one. Uncle T, on the other hand, I'm just a better guy. Yep. And when fate finally catches up, man, he will be fucked. Oh, uh... Oh, ah, uh, yeah. I'm with you, Uncle T. Let's bounce. So, they ain't after us. Hey, there's a bar nearby. Let's get some cold ones. <laughs> cold ones? Are you a frat boy now? But Uncle T, I just thought we could get a beer. I mean, I'm... I don't care how old you are. Little Jim don't drink. Not on my watch. End of discussion. Now, get out of here, kid. Uncle T? It's good having you around. Yeah, hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together is very important. I have to go. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard. 
Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with. We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. Yeah, right. Whatever. No, seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. OK, I'm going to stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? 1330, we're an hour down, two to go. Emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will, but I gotta talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Just went 1330. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal 
from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in. Okay, they'll be back out in the open now. It'll have to be a quick turnaround, but you can hijack the trucks in there. I'm picking up the cars, right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight, stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. There's your big asshole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Now just hover here. Hold here. Just a minute. Ah, yeah, that'll do. Looks steady enough on that bedrock. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Your girl was fucked up last night. Yeah, let's get together. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Oh, shit. So there's that. 
Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. We'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <sighs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No? Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Fuck! 
you. Hey, come on. Where you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on. We'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it's dead. This is insanity. Oh, no. No, it's clear. And reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> well, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, alive! How do you do it? Man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, brother, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough. I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking, fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. What's going on? Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Don't hit me! That man has already come to the airport. No matter how many planes are going, we'll be able to get it. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. All right, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. This out. This out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. <laughs> 
Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. Oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Boyfriend? Motherfucker. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Now you die. He will hurt you. You want the husband? Go yell Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Surrender now! He's getting away! It's just me and you! Oh, hey, back off! You shot a chen More vans, of course. Oh, oh, you forgot to check the train schedule! <laughs> Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. 
You live in your trailer together with the maid, and then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Oh, whoa, shit! Don't you open your damn eyes? I often wonder when a guy like you comes in, what does he do after he leaves? What did he use that last purchase for? Ain't this supposed to be an ask no questions kind of place? So you're Ballas, right? Probably an OG, too. I was reading about them online. Are you trying to be funny with me, fool? No, no, I'm sorry. All that purple and green, I'm colorblind. I have a lot of allergies, too. If you want to keep the rest of your senses functioning, I shut the hell up and just serve. Got it. Loud and clear, sir. Sorry again. What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Gangsters move. He waiting at the garage. Damn! The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama, no security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scoot you up, homie. Yeah, scoot you over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude? Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement. Euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. <sighs> shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know. He wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. 
Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, if I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd! was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah, probably. How he do it? Where, when? All right, all right, fuck! I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway. I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guys running, old guys shouting, I don't really care, I play peacemaker. 
concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters. Nothing serious. Ha! Huh. So that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kinda worked. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. So, tell me, man, what, what about you and Frank? Oh, hell no, nah, homie. It ain't like that. We ain't like y'all. You know, niggas don't get out like that. I mean, one time we was both fucking this bitch, and I was about to go in, and we kind of, like, touched dicks. But it wasn't even like a slap or nothing. I mean, man, it was like almost like a brush, you know? I mean, that shit, it, it, it wasn't nothing, homie. It, it, it wasn't even, like, awkward or nothing. But j j don't tell nobody. That's how you met Franklin. Brushing cocks in an orgy. It wasn't no orgy. Fuck, man, that was a three-way. Nah, we ain't meet there. Nah, wait, wait, that wasn't Frank. That was JB in a three-way. Frank ain't into that. And he smoked crack now. JB, I mean, not Frank. So there you go. Actually, man, you know what? I don't care where you and JB met, or you and Frank. It was at school, motherfucker. Davis High. Me and Frank was always tight. Lanky and fatty. We were slanging together, then we was banging together, then we back to slanging. That's a young man game, you heard me? Yeah, I heard you. But I don't really care. Never enough for him, man. Didn't want to be a soldier, wanted to be the general. Didn't want to be a slanger, wanted to be the CEO. Running franchises and shit. Who franchising in the drug game? Trevor Phillips Industries is who. Who they? They got t-shirts? It don't matter. All right. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset. It's Franklin. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. Roger that. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town.
Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Be a hospital near here somewhere. No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Cholo Springs Avenue. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back then? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. Look, you bleed now. You won't go to the hospital or the cops. And you're fleeing the scene of a dead body. If you want my help, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Trust me, I do. I've seen enough jobs go wrong. I want to be clear what I'm getting into. So you're in the game? Now who's asking too many questions? <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It was supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20K each. I was the driver. And not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half of San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Nah, I didn't say that. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. Not like this. Come on, not like this. Be cool. I'll get you there. You ain't worth a shit. This is it. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime? You let me know. We are women, here are pain. We are women, here are shout. We are women, we have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut women, the we are fuck men. up! Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology, okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! Nah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm a fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have just look, look, fucking... Look, man, Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all yeah. two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey, Phillips no. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! You idiots! I'll help you get Phillips! Is somewhere. How you get in? Guys, 
coming from down there. Throw me a gun. Huh? Now you strapped, man. You was right about more coming. They got you locked down hard, homie. Shit. Two more coming at us from the left, man. Yeah, it turns out they really want Trevor dead. Go figure. Hang in there, Carl. What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna check around the corner. Can you get yourself down? Clear the corridor, then we'll get out of here. You want to go to Oh, shit! Get up, let's go! We're going out this way! Back off, man, let us go! That's gotta be all local! We should go, man! Come on! Come on! Let's go! This is my rescue mission, dawg! We're going! I just want to get home! I'm gonna get you here! Guys, look, I don't... Is that it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear. Fuck me, man. What a scene that was. That's about the size of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. But how'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankton. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me, he fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? Weston? What about it? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin. I had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. Oh. All right, then, I'll see ya. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said. Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. And you just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying.
big man. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey! Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real fat asses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal hey. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. With pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? But you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Come in. Come in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. Wow, how many times have you been in now? Look, are you really here for the clothes? If you've developed some creepy obsession for me, I'd like to know now rather than drag this charade out any longer. <laughs> no, sorry, sweetheart. Don't flatter yourself. Because that's never going to happen in a million lifetimes, do you understand? Hey, okay, okay, I think you made your point. So long as we're on the same page. This feels so old-fashioned, buying clothes in person rather than online. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, 
you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. You're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Uh, i got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him, see what we think. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Uh, not our guy. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nope. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Hi, sis. How's Broker? He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. Hey, you my dude, right? You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. 
Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, 
What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? Wow. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screenplay Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. So these two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shop. Of course I wore a condom. I know. Can you and Mom hey, go I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So. You'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, uh. Come on! My punk days are long behind me, man. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, fuck the paparazzi, you're gonna love this! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah, you're not gonna get me a Prince Albert, are you? Ah. 
Worked on it, I would have brought a camera crew. Please don't put a gang symbol on me. Ah, oh, you butcher. How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? There we go. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole! I'm a celebrity. Mm. Oh, no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who Hi. knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. Hey, you know, so inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Oh. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with a laptop. Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine Vatian. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! 
all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Hi. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed and don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad, gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Ah. Crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. 
The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. And we keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. Ricky, I know he didn't do so good at the jewelry store, but he's probably gotten better, and he's still the same price. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Ah, Norm. Came across as uh, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Passing out drunk in front of old movies, screaming at boys I'm dating, Freaking out when a cop car drives past? I get it. I get it. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? You better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at 
the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Ah, uh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> We found this brick? Oh, please. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. What's up? Okay. You around here? Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! Hey, I'll, I'll see you at the accordion workshop. Hey, oh. hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Go, Daddy! Go! Fuck you, asshole! Ha ha! Love your ride, hon. Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy! You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. I'm sorry this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah, guys who go to strip clubs, use hookers. Hey, 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 that ain't me. Anymore. She's a lovely young woman. You've done a great job. Yeah, well, it's hard raising kids in this town. Come here, scumbag. You've got to get him! You're a danger to yourself and others! Right He's out of the car! I get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need help! I'm the victim! Look at him! He's online! He's running! Don't kill me for loving her! Oh that ain't love! It's the internet! You're a cyber creep! You're right, you're Guys, right. You're I'm getting me. help. Don't kill me! <gasps> you showed him, Pop! He's freaking out! Run, you little bastard! All the way out of town! I'll leave the state! I promise! I'm going to Thailand! I mean rehab! <laughs> Look at him go! He's kind of cute in a guru beach bum kind of way. I'm gone, I'll disappear. I'm a victim of myself. I learned my lesson. We're letting him go, right? He got the message. Yeah, I think he got the message. Let's just say it don't look like he's gonna turn up at your next fan club, AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leaked this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. But it'll really boost my profile. You got creep stalking you. I'd say your profile is plenty boosted already. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. 
You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> okay, okay, the airport. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. We show there is no need to panic. The LSPD are here to escort you to the hangar. There is no need to drive erratically. Please calm down. Look out! 
I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Say, shut your mouth, shut it, shut, just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You're mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin, you're irrationally angry, nothing you say makes any sense, you are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it. On the bike. Now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. I'll get you. Mmm, I got you. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. Oh, no. Don't tell me I gave you the carbon bike. You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Spare me the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! You're so gonna crash! Psycho Bitch Town has a new sheriff! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your sick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! You got this! You Woo! Later. I win! This Come on! Come on, what? Not sex so reward! Now, That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Did you see that Miranda oh. Cowan said Fuck, that? I love you! Holy Hold shit! Hold me! Whatever. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? Guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some 
inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. It seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, this is the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talking new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm going to miss this place. If we're going to do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own hearts, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Pour me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files. Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you! Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. Man, it's gonna cost you, homie. Trust me, you gonna pay for that shit. Alright, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, Driver and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, are we ready? Always on time, bro. Just want to say what an honor it is working with you, Mr. Townley. To Santa. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. On it, bro. I'll get over there. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough then we move in the chopper. If you want to pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump. Pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. 
Yeah, that ain't what he says. Okay, I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run, except me. But it ain't great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your backs, and there's a good chance this thing won't work at all. If you planned it, I'm sure it's gonna go down clean. So, in short, thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out especially for this shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road, maybe a big one, and sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might not die. That's what's getting me through this. All right. Consider me motivated, sir. Hey, come on, grab the stick. You got it. You ready? Uh, are you? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm lucky I can even breathe at this altitude, let alone calculate the odds of surviving the jump, landing, fucking firefighter, whatever else blowback there might be. All right, I shouldn't have had. Let's go. Come on, what the fuck you waiting for? We all. It's your show? Come on. Come on. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. Oh. Better than an elevator. Ah, oh, fuck. We're in. I'm getting the hang of this heist work. Server room's in the bottom right of my plans here. Take the gun. Man, you really bring that piece to a raid on the federal building? I'll take that from him, not from you, punk. Let's get ready for security. The alarm appears to be active. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The terminal, my bad. Connect your cell apps are on there. Yeah, they better be. Yeah, I done did my homework this time. Access my computer. Your cellular will show as an external device, okay? Now let's get some linkage. Give me hat connect in this bitch. This little puppy's gonna locate your IP address in the network output. Now, let me school you. Your IP is a number, that number at the top. You're looking for it in the numbers in the middle. Okay, I'm connected. Then you are ready to bring down a firewall. Brute force, bitches, boot it up. I probably should have said I don't code anymore. I just design and manage. I think... I think I'm in. Now start down and out, and let me go to work. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Like security is right on top of you. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. I'm sticking here, starting the file transfer. Get down, assholes. Eyes up. Left side of the roof light. Everybody, choppers, pick me up. Clear for takedown. I'm taking fire. They got me. Get it! Get it! Boom! Oh, God! Hold tight! Hold tight! Choppers, go on, dudes! Oh, shit, man! Don't worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. Man, shit! They gassing us out! It's just a little smoke, people. Serious bad luck, Rose. What? Dude, that chopper crash ripped the ass out of the building. A couple of floors, man. Devastation. 
Great. Ah, thanks. Hey, you're good to go, man. Grab it. About time. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, hell! Hey, you gotta see this. Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Because he might be a... Oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Man, let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this fair building. Hey, you want to sign with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg. Let's do this shit. The driver's meeting us out front, right? Hey, where the driver at? Over here, let's go! Oh, shit, it's the ambulance. Get in. One of you unloads his weapon, I'll cut his other weapon off. What do you think, boss? I say start shooting. Okay, we lost him, Frank. We're meeting Lester at your place for a debrief. Hey, Taliana, right? Great move, bringing an ambulance. It's a common trick. If the crew don't get jumpy, it usually works. Common or not, it takes balls, and you got him. Whoa, now we're clear, I could probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? You're screwing with me, right? I've already given you a major discount on my standard rate. Shit, yeah, of course. Don't think I'm ungrateful. If you want to renegotiate, let's go back and I'll drop you outside the FIB building. I get it. I'm sorry. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi sort of serious, but joking once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. We can joke about how screwed up your damn life is. <laughs> yeah, well, what else are we gonna do? Besides, Trevor ain't a problem, and Dave will look after me, I think. I'd gladly give up my take for the experience of working with you, Mr. Townley. But you know, a deal's a deal. Or how about we meet halfway, and I spend some of the green on women for us? Me and you! We could share one, man! You're my hero, you know, you always have been! Uh, yeah. Thanks. I think I'll take a rain check on that little party. Well, people, we did it! A raid on the Bureau! It wasn't the biggest job, or the smartest, but it was probably the ballsiest. Taliana, we're coming up on the place. Can you do me a favor? Get rid of the vehicle and drop him off somewhere. I got it! Prince, DNA, whole thing will be clean. Hey, come on in, man, but... Don't forget to take your shoes off. Damn, Franklin! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Any longer and I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey! Hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? Well, I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but... There's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. 
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I got to deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, but we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! Oh, my God! I need to borrow your car, lady. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Oh, yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? So we're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys with the gun, down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this is your frequency. That's our... I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. What the hell is happening here? What happened to Haynes? He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Damn it. We're cut off. You're gonna have to go down the stairs at the other end of the building. You're gonna die, bitch! Oh, the fuck? Hey! If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend, it's gonna be me! Oh! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. 
This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Hands made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the Bureau get killed. We're good. Moving up on the reflecting pool. Get down here, Michael. So tell me, Davy, who are these Bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. This is a fucking shit show. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. What happens to Hayes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. You've got to go across the walkway to the other side of the complex to get down. Shit! 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 More Merriweather coming up the building opposite me. Looks like inappropriate public spinning to me, man! This kind of action on U.S. soil is why you shouldn't be operating. They're done! I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey! Thanks, T! This is our shot! I'm making a run for the parking lot! Get clear and we'll talk! The lot's this way! This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. What bag? Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood! Time to meet your maker! Oh, well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, no, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you day? come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just, I just want, I want something that isn't this. You know, this caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad, love my family, you know, live the dream, but at the same time, I really want the other stuff, too. 
I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, Faye's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are OK. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean. One minute I'm fine, the next the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. <sighs> it was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just, I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. Oh, <laughs> they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You. Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. This kind of exposure will push you to the help you need. Sorry, pal. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you going to do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, OK? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right, and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out.
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Oh, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterward. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. All right, my turn to move. All right, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Frank, we'll attack on your signal. Let's go find the dude. Laying down fire. I'm moving! Mobilize, motherfucker. This shit is on. Shit, it's Lamar's homie. 
Where you got LD? Hey, there's LD! Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dawg. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move. There's another dude in the bushes. Hey, homie. Hey, it's a bunch of fucking ballers down there. A crazy dude here, too. Hey, Trevor. All right, Lamar, let's go. You should have stayed in town. You gotta be the hardest motherfucker to kill in the city. That's only because of the company I keep, nigga. Form gangsters, nigga, one last time. Hell yeah, the farm is gonna keep on grooving, nigga. Even if we do survive, that shit ain't for you. I'll take Lamar. Hey, I'm pulling out. Thanks, sneaky dude. I still ain't met your ass. I can take care of myself. Go. T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn and get horny on your office supplies. Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. The bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't gonna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or a get-killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, where to trust that, dog? I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show. Sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead himself. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga stress new. Everybody knew stress new. Tanisha knew stress new, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So stress sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. 
Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit and FC wasn't getting him out of it. Know what I'm talking about? <sighs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel coming to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... A little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dawg. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. See, Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Fuck. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass, nigga. <laughs> Those are selling like hotcakes. Make sure the you producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! 
I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. Okay. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does, cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E N T! Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle! Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Okay, they both did their piece, and they both got it done. And uh, I think I'll say that they were fucking outstanding. Thanks, Antonio. Hey. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a oh, hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house! What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But... You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. 
I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. You got Save them, Pop. Daddy's home, you pricks. Hey, you You stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Easy. Clear the building! No one leaves! Oh, give me cover. Not yet. Stay put. I don't like this, Michael. Neither do I. Just keep calm. Standard ordinance! Let's do this! Daddy? Time Are you to okay? bleed! I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. They're going to kill us! I need you to cover me, asshole! No one's gonna Get kill you! Daddy's here. got this. Oh. I got you, you oh. dick! Oh. Oh. It's gonna be all right! <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh. Someone there? Oh. I'm gonna start shooting! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I, I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right, I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away, before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Right. Hey, come on, dude, right? Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me! All right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, 
We cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Ha <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. You want me to flip a coin? Jobs for the bureau team. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Hey, you gotta give the guy some cred for coming out of the bureau with his... Uh, abilities. Yeah, I reckon he learned something. <laughs> not enough to charge more. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door. The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! It's just an online persona! It was satire or parody or something! I didn't mean it! Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon? In this charcoal-colored Landstalker to punish me for trolling oh you? God, no. If only someone would save me! Ah. Call him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. 
It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ah, back of that car. That's my boy's fat head. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. Ugh, horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! You got my son in there! Just give him a scare, Pop. Uh, don't, like, kill him. Give me back my boy! Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Are you sure? Because the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim, what's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn and I'm all like, Damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Trisha. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Martin? Is he treating you well? Did you ever? You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Trisha. I really miss. I have to go. Ah! 
Uh, here, put this on. You know, I'm gonna scan this place for cameras when you're gone, Peeper. Hey, when this thing is done, the girls are gonna be videoing me. <laughs> mm, nah, ain't gonna happen. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, if you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go. Check that out. We need Lester in the air, running comms, and managing the link up with the train. Some Rena Hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. Rena Hood? That's out of line. We ready to go in the tunnel. When you draw the heat in the foyer, man, give us word. Okay. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? Way to fill me with confidence. Hey, let's drill a hole in this damn thing. Get on the floor! This is a robbery! Get on the damn floor! The wall's there, you see it? Hey, here we go! We gotta blow these cages fast. We want all the gold? Fit them both. The bombs are in place. I'm gonna set them off. Get away from there and set them off. We got access. LSPD in the tunnel behind me. I hold them off. Get the metal where we need it for pickup. I did good on these trolleys, okay? I'm here for the bullion! Cough it up! Both trolleys are ready to go! Hey, we got you. Lower the wind. Hey, I got this one. Get the next one. On the floor! On the floor! Oh, shit! Over there, dog! Look out! Through the hole! They got in the vault door! Don't worry about us. Just get the bricks out. Where are all these cops leaving? I got the mans. They got men rappelling into the hall. I gotta pull the chopper out a minute. Dudes have to get through that door. I'm bringing the chopper back around. No, nah, man, get the bricks out of here. Go, Tom. Get the metal out the city. You heard him. Go. So the chopper's away. All right, we're coming out the back door. All right, man, look, downtown's locked up tight. We should get out of here together, dog. Meet at the footbridge to Arcadians. What with the Michael Townley doing this situation? He'd run off on his own, so that's what I'm doing. Really? Good luck, dog. I'm running. We're meeting up at the Alta Street footbridge. Damn, you made it! Woo. After doing the walk in the Union Depository, man! It was a whole lot less successful than your lick! 
But we need it to divide attention. Woo, God. Down here. Let's get across the bridge. Too many cops on the ground. Stay up here on the footpath. Another chopper on the left. Public law enforcement's doing just fine trying to kill us, so tell them not to bother. I'll put you down. You know why I want to get out of this? Because you got a wife and kids, right? And you don't want them to lose. Because if I go down, Trevor's ass gets my share. Let's go! Let's go! Parking lots under the building. We got the car stashed there. We need a window. Drop these guys. Merryweather ain't on us, too. Oh, we're clear. I'll check on the gold. Trevor, Lester, come in. Mikey, Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. You doing all right? We got company. Looks like Merryweather.
Wow. You are one serious fucking buzzkill. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No nothing! Now come on, sugar! <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> What the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck! Franklin? Lester, dawg. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I... I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, 
that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you fronting ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chick. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man. Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. It makes me think this is a setup. It is a setup. We're setting up Merriweather and the FIB, making them think the metal's here. A setup for me. It's a weird gun and it's making me nervous. Put it down. It's a good gun. And you asking me to put it down is making me nervous. Hey, I ain't the guy with a past history of giving up his friends. You let the Chinese take me, didn't you? You might be about to pull that again with Merriweather, for all I know. I was in an emotional state. I can't be blamed for my actions in Ludendorff. Oh, well, can't I blame you for every day you didn't come and get me after that? I ain't putting my gun away. You need to get here, Franklin! Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Watch your stecker. Gee, dog, we gotta wait.
Hey, these punks causing trouble? There you go. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass just one. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. Can you get to him? Shit! This shit! All right, I'm looking for him. <laughs> Trevor, stop being a prick! They keep on coming out here! Oh. Say something! Trevor! It's getting heavy out here, dudes! There you are, you dick! What was the problem? I took a knock. I was sitting out a few rounds. It's good to know you care. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Watch out! Another FIB team on the way! Ah! Are we clear? Yeah, all clear. Frank, we're clear inside. What the fuck is going on out here? We keep putting them down until yeah, they stop pulling up. Damn! Fuck! You're a big fucking jerk. Ah. 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 You motherfucking asshole! for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yo, yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? Mm, see you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just... Calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W E I C H E N G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh? Stretch? Yeah, man. Look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Let's stick to him. We take out our sight. 
nine targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We great. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Club. I'm gonna do it now. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. Motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please, pair of bitches. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that worked this pole last night. Man, that's bullshit. You wanna see? I'll show you right here, nigga. Watch. All right, I'm at the courts. I think I know which one stretches. Damn, you need a wide lens for that shit. <laughs> Pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Oh my God. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. This is Los Santos, a city of celluloid, a city of scumbags, the last great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams, <clears throat> hey, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. Wasn't? That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Hey, you my dude, right? Hey, hey, hey. You got my this thing going, all right? Let me get out of here.
Oh my god! Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Huh? Attack is on! Defensive position! You bleed like humans, but I know you're a reptile! What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. What's going on? Where am I? I'm on the Think about this. Find a happy place, you Zen cock. You know you're a you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, Julep. Everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! I got an army at my fingertips! Go meditate, you phony prick! You're a dead man! I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. I'm getting out of here. 
And I'm coming for you! This is why people want to kill you! You won't shut up! Here we are, Slick! With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would you going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. What kind of welcome is that, Melvin? You really are a pitiful example of a man. I've just had a bad day. I don't need to be bullied by you right now. Why are you so miserable? I mean, it doesn't make for a dynamic store experience. Well, I live alone. I don't have any real friends to speak of. I don't actually want to know. Okay. So, 
You've done well for yourself. What? What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours, and have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman, and you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's it now. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What should I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. What about Bill Henderson, huh? I hear that young lodger he took in doesn't sleep in his own room most of the night, if you get my drift. You hear a lot, don't you, Melvin? I can only assume you're the one who's been spreading the malicious rumors about me. No, no, I would never do that. What rumors? Oh, the antisocial behavior, psychopathic outbursts, killing sprees. And those are, are rumors? Mmm. You tell me. I'd rather just stick to the business at hand, if you don't mind. Hey, Jim. It's Pop. I'd like to see you, bud. But you only want to hang out when you want something. But I can live with that. Ah, sounds good, Jimmy.
what'll happen. I guess you'll have to wait and see. I want your food inside me. Father, always a pleasure. Hey, what's going on, brother? So are you back for good, or are you gonna run off again? For good, I hope. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. What does that even mean, ahead of ourselves? Because what it sounds like is physically impossible shrink-speak nonsense. It's probably what it is. But I'm trying, okay? I know you're angry at me. Because you're a psychotic killer? Or because you nearly destroyed our family. Or because I'm a fat slob riddled with self-loathing. You're not a fat slob. And you don't have self-loathing. You just need to take better care of yourself. I'm sorry, look, this conversation, it's not going how I imagined it would. What, you wanted a big hug and me to absolve you of your many sins because you were trying your best? Hey. Yeah, uh, that would have been nice. Ah, <sighs> uh, look, Jim. I realize I'm a shit person, and a shit dad, but I love you, and I'm not going anywhere, all right? Okay, uh, geez, why do you have to get so emotional? Good to spend time with you, Dad. Are you being sarcastic with me? No, not at all. I, I won't pretend I haven't hated you all my conscious life, but at the same time, I sort of love you. That's very nice of you, I think. I'm sort of happy. Feels odd. So I kind of tuned out during that. What happened? If you want to take me home now, Pop, I'll be fine with it. Hey, there's like a bar around here? Hey, Father-son beer time, come on. I ain't quite ready to condone your drinking, Jim, or smoking grass, or doing anything. So the robbing and shooting's cool, but drinking isn't? Exactly. It's a level of hypocrisy I can live with. All right, here we are. Don't get yourself killed, okay? I'll miss you. Hey, Amanda, it's me, your husband. What you up to? You wanna hang out? You remember me? Jesus, of course I'd like to see you. We're married. Good, I'll be there soon. You seem happy. Oh, shit! It's good to spend some time together. It really is. You know, I did a lot of thinking while you were away, I mean. Sounds ominous. No, not at all. I just really wanted to make a, a go of things, you know, as best we can. Me too. So, no more affairs for either of us. Please? You started it. I know, I know. I, I, I treated you badly. I, I see that. I'm just... I. Say it. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm an asshole. You deserve better than me. Well, that's certainly true. And I 
love you too. A man of his son. Do we drink too much? Nope. Hardly at all. We set a great example. Great fucking example to the kids. That's why they turned out so good. Exactly. We did a good job. Okay, baby, this is it. That was really fun, darling. Let's do this again. Hey, T, it's me. What's going on? Hey, I'm bored. You want to do something? Well, I guess so, even though I figured we weren't friends anymore. Great. I'm on my way. Let's roll! Michael, man, good to see you. Well, T? Well, what, sugar tits? Well, we got there. In the end, I mean. I mean, we moved on. Have we? I hope so. Haven't we? Mm, I guess. I mean, I fucked you over, and that's why I want to apologize. And I also want to give you my share of the money we boosted in this last score. Mm. You do? Sure. I don't really need it. I want you to be happy. Well, I don't I don't need it either. And I don't want it. It's never about the money. I know it wasn't. It was... I was in a tough situation, and I fucked up, and I apologize. Mm. Okay. I accept your apology. Thank you. Together at this moment, but you know it's not. I know, all right. Shit, you're such a downer. I don't even feel drunk anymore. Well, you are still drunk, so cheer up. Ah, uh, you ruined it. Oh, we did it, T. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I know. Biggest score in American history. You and me and the kid and the creep. Incredible. Wow, the big one. We did it. Uh, the big one. We're not two-bit hoods anymore. We, oh, we, we did it. Okay, T. I'll see you later. It's good hanging out. Just like old times, Mikey. Hey, Frank, you want to do something? Man, it's been a while since you hit me up for something like this, but cool, man. Let's go. All right, I'll be there soon. Hey, man, let's go. Hey, good to see you, man. You know something? What? Man, next time I make a surprise call to some guy I admire to see if he can teach me something, I sure shit hope he tells me to get lost. <laughs> I don't blame you. Ooh, what a journey. Man, I wasn't expecting that. I thought you'd show me how to rob small-time banks, watch the money, and buy a big house and retire in peace. Yeah, well, maybe next time. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you went straight to advanced study, my friend. The reality. Not the friendly face of boosting scores. The reality. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Oh, man. I am drunk as fuck. 
I hear you, man. Shit. I'm fucking drunk. Ah, oh, God, my stomach hurts. My kidneys hurt. My liver hurts. My eyes hurt. I can't feel my arm. I don't like myself very much. I... Alright, this shit ain't fun at all. Shut up, man. Stop moaning. Shit, you're giving me a headache. I gotta stop drinking. Maybe I should go to meetings. Yeah, you should go someplace. Any place but here. <laughs> yeah, screw you. Don't pity. I will not be pitied. All right, brother. See you later. For real, man. See you soon. Frank! Hey, listen, I'm bored. You wanna hang out? Hey, all right. It's been a while since we got down like that, bro. Look out, buddy. Cause I'm coming at ya. It's good to see you, T. So I gotta ask you something, T. Address to the right. What? Nothing. No, I, I gotta ask you. Why didn't you... Why... Why didn't you, you know, kill Mikey? I'd rather talk about my penis. No doubt. I don't know. I thought a lot about it. I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I really did. But he's got kids. I don't quite know. I suppose it was a long time ago, and I suppose we had some fun here, and I suppose I made my mind up. That he's a dick, but the people against us were worse, so I killed the bigger dicks. Michael lucked out. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he's still a dick, but I kind of love him for it. I love how much he hates himself. It makes me feel all is right with the world. You know what, kid? I'm proud of you. Thanks, Uncle T. Hey! No need for sarcasm. I'm proud. You've really grown up. You learned a lot. I did a good job teaching you. And you finally understood. Again. Thanks, Uncle T. You taught me to piss off the government, piss off private security, almost kill your best friend. But not to do it in the end, and uh, I guess the main thing I learned is when to say no. Mm, uh, more for me then. Well, here we are, Frankie. Good to spend time together. I, I mean that. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Jimmy! It's Uncle T. I thought we could, uh, hang out. Uncle T! Back from the dead. Again. Sure. Uh, let's hang. Good, kid. Not like your father at all. Trevor Phillips. It's good to see you, Uncle T. And you, kid, and you. Been a long time. Yeah, really long. Well, let's make up for lost time. Jeez, uh, your dad. <laughs> eh, what an asshole, huh? My dad? Yeah. <laughs> really selfish asshole, don't you think? No, oh, wait a moment, that's not fair. He's your dad. He's a hypocrite and a selfish asshole, but we love him. Okay. But listen to me. 
You don't stab people in the back like he did. You hear me? What do you mean? I mean, you stab him in the face. In the face. Plunge, twist across the throat, and then they're gone and you're the last thing they see on this earth. That's how you stab someone. Okay. Stick with T, pork chop. I'll see you right. It's good to see you, Uncle T. I missed you. And I've missed you. Yeah, my dad said everyone should be terrified of you because you're crazy, but I disagree. I'm not scared of you. Your dad, eh? What a guy. What a guy. Why do I feel like I've seen that movie before? Oh, maybe that's because they're all the same. Would you so, open your fucking um, eyes? I get it if you gotta to attend to your business, but I'm cool to keep hanging on if you are. kid. Uncle T, it's good having you around. Hey, Lamar, you want to do something? All right, all right, dude, okay. I thought you was cool on me, but uh, whatever. I'm coming to get you. Man, just try to act normal for a few hours, okay? So, it's cool to hang out, man. Well, that's why I called you. Cause I'm a fun guy. You seem like you need a friend. Man, that's cool. But I got a gang of homies already. I'm one of the crazy cats that the big dogs want to be and the bitches want to be with. Huh. A lot of animals you got here. I know. I'm a fucking jungle cat like a panther. I got this magnetic thing that attracts me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. Hey, and I can tell that about you. But I'm kind of new in town. So, I need more friends with an end. Then I'm your dog, dog. For real? For real. Bitch, I'm special. My mama say I'm special, bitch. I'm very special. I'm so motherfucking special, like, like a special, special thing, motherfucker. Man, I'm, I'm drunk, motherfucker. But I like that shit, though. It's good seeing you, man. You too, Leroy. Leroy? It's Lamar, motherfucker. Not a girl's name? Sounds very feminine. Nah, this shit ain't no Fenderman name, nigga. It's my name. Okay. Touched a nerve. Good to know. All good things have to come to an end. Holla at me, boy. This is a voice from your past. Let's get together and pretend things aren't weird. Trevor! Yeah, okay. You won't even see me coming, pal. Of course. What else would you drive? Hey, it's good to hang out, bro. So, Mike, I should probably say... What? Well, maybe I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I mean, let's be honest, Brad was a dick, and things were getting out of control. You had the kids, and you'd already missed so much of their growing up. I could feel like I was losing you, you know, so I pushed you harder. I thought that, that was how to keep you in the game, and I didn't want to lose you. I've said that already, haven't I? Well, it was gonna blow up, man. We all knew it was, and I guess... I guess I'm happy you made it out alive, and with enough money to make sure your kids 
became total, complete nightmares. Hey, I mean, if you'd taken less, you know, a, a couple million, they'd only be dicks. But with your savings, you were able to truly, completely ruin them. Selfish, soft, without any skill. <laughs> they got it all. You've provided for their future. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny, because it's true. It's also kind of sad. Hey, bro, they're sweet. Kinda. Brad was a dick, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was. Bless him. Backstabbing turd, you started everything! Ain't you got the memo? You're a backstabber and you deserve to die! Oh, gee, thanks, T. That's really, really nice of you. Screw you, Art. Just stop whining. No one likes a whiner. This is the end of the road, Mikey. Yeah, it's been fun, Trevor. Hey, T, I'm bored, man. Wanna hang out or something? Oh, absolutely, my young chum. Love to. Oh, great. I'll be there soon. My favorite gangbanger. Hey, dog. it's good to know you put stuff aside with Mike. You know, I was kind of worried a little. Like I said, I thought of his children, and in a way, you're one of his children, the one he shares with me. Uh, thanks, man, I guess. Really, if I'm completely honest with you, Brad was a bit of a dick. The dude who got killed? Yeah, I mean, would I have done it one day? Maybe. Probably. Well, probably likely. Wouldn't have done it in such an underhanded fashion, and the authorities wouldn't have been involved, but yeah, bit of a dick. So all this was over a guy neither of you really liked? Well, the, the, the principle was the thing, and if I'm anything, I'm a man of principles. Hey, I'm happy you got over your principles, and thank the universe Brad was a dick. with the kid. It's kind of annoying. Sorry, kid. I, got, I mean, sorry. I just, I just, you're a good kid. You got potential. I see it. Mikey obviously saw it the moment he met you, but let's be honest. You need a real guide through life. Be 
because that bit's yours. Who you choose to learn from. Sure, dawg. Thanks for the advice. This is you, dawg. It's been cool. Fun time! Let's do it again soon. Hey, Mike, it's me. Wanna hang out, man? Absolutely. Cool, I'm coming by. Okay, let's go. Good to see you, man. I cannot believe we got away with that shit. Everything. Man, it's crazy. Yeah, we got away with it. And we didn't get away with it. What you mean? We here, ain't we? Yeah, we're here. But look, everyone pays. Man, what you talking about? I'm talking about I believe in second chances, happy endings. But the happy ending was horrible. Yo, what's up? That was my life, what you walked into. Drunk and depressed by a pool. Anything by a pool's kinda all right. Trust me, it isn't. I sold everyone down the river for a life I thought I wanted, but it was empty. And I had to keep telling myself everything was worth it. Then to top it all off, the guy I sold out come back to torment me. All my self-hatred manifested in a crazy whirlwind. And then life just got worse, okay? So if anything's gonna teach you a lesson about karma, what's this gotta do with pulling all this shit off? I wanna celebrate, man. Don't bring me down, homie. I've made so many mistakes. And what they've taught me is that everyone pays, frankly. One way or another, everyone pays. Man, this is depressing as shit. The only thing I want you to pay for now is some drinks, man, to get me out this glum-ass mood, homie. Damn. I got your plate. You know what? Screw it, man. Screw it. What? What do you mean, screw it? What are we screwing? I don't need to feel bad about it, right? Hey, fuck being ashamed. Feel me in, bro. You a married man. You ought to feel bad and ashamed about screwing anyone. No, no, hey! No, 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 no! You gotta run. Screw feeling bad about drinking. I drink. And I like it. Uh, I dog, that's great. <laughs> I'll tell you what, F. We got through it. It was close, but we made it. The show. I mean, shit. We were real lucky there. We should have never managed that. That was crazy. I mean, even by my standards. Certainly crazy by mine. Whoa! Just. Hey, thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, we should do this again. Jimmy, what's up, man? It's Frank. Get your ass out of bed, man. We doing something. Yes, excellent. Let's do this. I'm on my way. Oh, it's on, homie. Holler at you, fam! What's going on, my dude? Hey, it's good to hang out, you know, like, properly? Yeah, for sure, man. Despite you stealing my car and everything, I really feel a connection, man. Like, like, we're brothers. Look, man, firstly, I ain't steal your fucking car. And secondly, let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? We just hanging out, not trying to adopt each other. I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I just meant, well, whatever, man. So, so that's why you and my dad are friends, because you're both moody with holding ass wipes. What? You probably do therapy together. What the fuck you talking about, homie? Sorry, it's just, it's, shit, shit. I'm not crying, okay? I'm not, I'm not crying. It's allergies. I, I get allergies. Fuck you. Shit. Where's my antihistamine? <laughs> Whatever, dog. Look, let's just try to have a good time, all right? 
Fuck you! Don't laugh at me! I, I don't take the antihistamine! My throat might close up and then maybe I could die! <laughs> Look, man, okay, man. Look, let's try to avoid that, all right? some group action with your ass. We don't have to have sex in the same room, but you could be like my wingman. Yeah, sure, man. Well, maybe not today, though, all right? It's good to hang, Holmes. But let me ask you, does this count toward my initiation? Is Big J on his way? What the hell are you talking about? Into the gang. Man, it doesn't quite work like that, homie. It's not a fucking fraternity, man. There's no circle jerk and a date rape here. Hey, get your ass out of here, bro. That's it for the homies. Until we meet again. Hey, what's up? Hey, how about we kick it? You still alive, nigga? So, sure, nigga, come on down and holler at your boy, man, before one of us dies of old age. Cool, homie. What's up, homie? Man, them white fools you friends with? Pair of fucking crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, that's true. They must have loved you showing up. A little boy running around to do they dirty work. Man, it ain't exactly like that, homie. I made real bank fucking with those guys, trust me, dawg. With you, I get to run around and do errands and shit and get nothing. You got respect, nigga. Some things is more important than money. Yeah, okay, homie, if the fuck you say so. Yeah, well, I hope you learned your lesson. Lesson? I ain't sure what I learned from them. Are you, fool? But I learned not to spend that much time worrying about what niggas like you think. Except the one I'm aiming at, nigga. Some tell me the fools who want me dead, nigga, them niggas wanna come smoke me. They ain't got sense to come, come fuck around, nigga, when niggas fucked up like this. Maybe you should stick to the X, uh, that Coke, or that cough syrup, nigga. Whatever else the fuck get you high most of fucking time, nigga. Nah, nah, nigga, this shit cool, nigga. It's too much fun, nigga. <laughs> Where my paycheck, motherfucker? What paycheck? For helping the old dudes, we saved them from getting booked. They eternally grateful is what you getting paid, nigga. I would have preferred grip. Always good to kick it with you, homie. Moving. Can we just get this over with? I've had a really crappy day. What kind of customer service is that, Melvin? Is there something in particular you're interested in? Yes, actually there is. What do you recommend for killing a man in the most agonizing way imaginable? Because I am more than happy to end your crappy day right now. I'm sorry, Trevor, please don't. Mm, just watch your manners. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? 
Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man, I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want them gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. <sighs> Shit. Somebody gotta go. Well, ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do. Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down, but this, nah, I ain't having. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shit! Oh, where are you, man? I'm chasing T through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I 
guess that's that, then. It is what it is. Hey! It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Hello. Uncle T, Dad. I, I just heard he's... he's... He's not gonna bother us anymore. We're safe. Uncle T, he was a good guy! No, he wasn't. He was dangerous. Uncle T? Did you do it? Did you, Dad? Uncle T wanted to kill all of us, Jim. He wasn't well. Uncle T? Man, fuck! Okay, I did it, all right? I know, good dog. Look, man, Devin Weston came to talk to me. He wanted me to clap Michael and let Trevor go. Then you should have clapped both of them. Man, ain't it something you and Dave can do? Cause he might be pissed, man. Dave can't do anything. Dave's lucky I let him do my paperwork. He's this close to discharge with no pension. Well, shit, is this something you can do? Sure, I can talk to Devin. He's licking his wounds after Meriwether lost their license to operate in the state. He might need a friend. Oh, yeah, okay, she. I hear it could be real useful having an FIB agent looking out for you. Hey, your chips are cashed, pal. Don't contact me again. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Frankie! Hey, T, man. I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dog, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other! Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy. College? Our Tracy. R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? 
Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. Got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. <laughs> every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking ain't right! I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster gone three-bit. And now you're gonna... Gap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in, treated you like family. Mike, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. You hypocrite.
What up, what up? This your boy LD. Leave one. Hey, Lamar. It's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Sweetie, I'll see you next time, all right? Bye. Franklin, homie, what's happening, man? Hey, you know you sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that? Ah, grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and, oh, yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Hello? Yo, F, you see my dad? We ain't seen him for a while. Uh, no. Uh, no, I haven't, man. Oh, great. Because my mom is majorly freaking out. <laughs> 